Ah! Uh, Probably do an ah uh, montage one day. No, no, <laughs> no. Or, like, or like a fast cut. So it's just like, uh, like the beginning of every fucking trash days podcast. It's <laughs> one of us going, ah! Uh, I'm waiting for the day that someone just like samples all of our audio and just makes like a lo-fi beat out of it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Trash Chase, the anime podcast where we talk about Japan, food, shitting, and occasionally anime. I am your host for today, Gigak, and with me are the boys. Yeah, that's a new tagline, isn't it? I, I was just like, well, what is a tagline that could go well with Trash Taste? I mean, that sounds about right. Like that's probably the most accurate. <laughs> the, the anime podcast. Yeah. But anime yeah. podcast where it's 5% anime, <laughs> exactly. 95% everything else. But no. uh, how are you guys doing? How good, are you boys good. doing? Since, all right. since last week, we spoke about Claymore and I was like, fuck it, I'll read Claymore. And it was really good. <laughs> you literally just finished it like <laughs> yeah. two minutes before we started recording. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, if you haven't read Claymore and anything about it, don't worry about it. You don't need to know anything. Uh, manga's good until about halfway and then it kind of just goes a bit shit. Second, the, yeah, the second half's definitely yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like a lot of anime or manga do this where they build up like this fucking amazing world that I think is too big of a scope. And then they just they're like, fuck, we need to finish this. Like yeah. within like mm. 200 chapters. Mm. How do we do that? Yeah. Well, I think for a, a lot of the times, at least with like Shonen Jump, because Claymore's from Shonen Jump. Like, yeah. A lot of the times the authors don't really have a choice as to how long it goes for. Right. Yeah, I, I, I feel like Shonen Jump goes through the same problem as, you know, a lot of American TV shows mm. where, you know, you have some like rare, like something like Breaking Bad, for example, it's like a rarity where a show just gets better. Mm. It hits its peak and then it stops. You know yeah. what I mean? But the I problem with- Better Call Saul comes along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but that's more Call, like a spinoff, yeah, right? Yeah, I think Better Call Saul's better than Breaking Bad. Oh, okay. oh, okay. You're, you're, you're one of those. You're one of those. I think it's really fucking good. You're one of those. I think it's really fucking good. I don't I, know. I haven't seen either one, <laughs> okay, so I okay, can't say. Right. Okay, yeah, go on. But uh, yeah, th the problem with a lot of it, like Shonen Jump manga, is that they most of the time, they either go on for too short, mm. Or yeah. they get dragged out. You either yeah. you're either like a bleach, yeah. or you are something that gets cancelled early, like most other Shonen Jump shows. Yeah, yeah that's the thing fact. is right is that like with Shonen Jump they have every month they have rankings. Right. Yeah. And I know, if yeah. you have even just a slight dip in popularity, then they're kind of just like, well, time to wrap it up, boyo. And the author's like, well, I I, I just I just got started. It's like doesn't matter. <laughs> I, you got to wrap it up. I wonder if that's what happened. But to be fair, we, when I was reading this, it's 150 chapters. Around like the 80th, as I was like, ah, oh, yeah, this isn't gonna end like great. Well, it I'm, ended, which is better than most. Well, but I yeah. mean, you know, yeah, it's better than like what happened to like Yu Yu Hakusho, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. like the last arc just got completely fucking <laughs> gutted. <laughs> I mean, so you, you can tell when an, when an author just like has to wrap things up in five chapters or something. Yeah, and you're just yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's Wait, true, true. Some, some, some stuff that they've been building up for like 100 to 200 chapters just gets wrapped up in 10 <laughs> chapters. And you're like, yeah. what the fuck was this? It's like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's like the opposite of that with, uh, what's the manga cover Hunter Hunter called? Togashi. Uh, Togashi. Togashi, yeah, yeah. Where, where he introduces like the dark continent when he can't fucking make one chapter. <laughs> and he's like, how about I just expand the world tenfold? I uh, I tweeted out about it the other day, but I found out the other day that in the span that it took Togashi to release chapter uh, volume 32 to 33, mm -hmm. Assassination Classroom started and ended. Oh my God. <laughs> so if you don't know, Hunter Hunter has been on hiatus, not hiatus. Basically we get a chapter like once every two years. No, it's definitely a hiatus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get a chapter once every H two years. H X H is short for hiatus. It's, it's hiatus. What, 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 what counts as a hiatus nowadays? Is, is it like a Hunter Hunter hiatus or a Berserk Miura hiatus? Yeah. You know what I mean? You're I mean, never... they're kind of the same thing, I mean, aren't it's, they? It's just like, maybe it's just a very slow release schedule. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? True, true, true. But uh, have you seen some of Hunter Hunter's latest chapters? Have you seen oh some of the Dark God. Continent chapters? Yeah. Uh, I, I've, 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 read, I've seen like some of the later chapters and some of them are just literally, there are pages that is just all text. There's like one character yeah. and it's literally- oh, yeah, I think I actually saw it on Twitter, right? Just, yeah. It's just a full page of text. And at this point I'm just like, Tagashi, if you want to write a light novel, just write a light novel, <laughs> this, man. This, this mangaka is just somehow like writing a book without realizing it. I don't know how you I do mean, that. he is kind of releasing volumes on the schedule of like light novel volumes. Exactly. You know? It's <laughs> like, why, why, why are we pretending that this is a manga anymore? Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and like the drawings, oh my God. Like, yeah. Yeah, just I mean, hire, it's hire like someone on Divine Art, man. Just do it already. <laughs> like, well, what's going like, on? What, what I want to know is like, cause I don't think Togashi uses assistance. Uh, maybe, probably not. I mean, no, probably not because if not, this is all like, assumptions, you'd, think I think. That, you'd think that he'd get assistance to draw, right? Why? 
His wife? Oh, well, yeah, his wife is the author of Sailor oh, Moon. Oh, shit, we, so. okay. we just dissed on his wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we dissed on one of the well, greatest shoujo uh, manga authors of all time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, the, the Hunter Hunter, if you haven't read or seen it, just do it. It's amazing, but just be prepared for just I, to never I, be See, okay, complete. so here's the thing. I haven't read Hunter Hunter at all. Yeah. But I have all of the volumes up until this point. The, okay. Dude, honestly, watch the anime. The anime is so fucking good. Yeah, no. Yeah, I the anime is great. It's it's one of the few anime that I think is better than the manga. Yeah. Really? And that's because- The you know, 2011 version. Right? Yeah, the 2011 version. Yeah, because yeah. some of the later uh, like arcs, especially the Chim Chimera Antark, mm. um, Tagashi's arc is really up and down at right, points because right. of you know his health complications that he was going through. But mm. like the anime is just consistent throughout. Mm. Okay, so, okay. so to anyone who doesn't know, I would I would recommend and God I, would recommend because I know yeah. so Watching. much about the series, like of like characters and like yeah, you, men and all yeah, that. Yeah, shit. Like, I know so many. You know, yeah. yeah, I know yeah. so many references, but I've never actually sat down and read or watched it. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I think I think I think I know enough about Naruto to like. To like lie, right. my, lie my way through a conversation, being like, ah, oh, yeah, the leaf yeah, like, like, yeah. crazy, yeah. man. I, I crazy. could probably lie my way through a Full Metal Alchemist <laughs> yeah. conversation. I have done many times. Nina, oh man, that's just so sad, bro. I mean, let's be real. Like, I feel we've all done that, right? Where like everyone around you is talking about an anime, and you're kind of just like, oh, yeah, well, that, yeah, that thing. For like for like five yep. years, I was an anime fan who hadn't watched Evangelion. People would be like, dude, it's epic, right? I'm like, yeah, dude, like get in the robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad hates me. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, dude, love that. Yeah. Love the part with the mechs fight. Dude. Yeah. That, shit's, that shit's crazy. <laughs> just, just do that. I, I admittedly did that a little bit with um with Bleach for it's a while. It's when you're insecure, right? Yeah, you don't yeah. Yeah. I, I did that for a, a while with Bleach fan. because I I didn't I dropped it at uh, the Eisen arc. Right, right, so right. anything after that, I had no fucking idea. <laughs> but people around me kept reading it, and right. they were like, "Yeah, you know the whole like Weko Mundo stuff." I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> That like, thing, like yeah, that thing, totally. To, yeah, to be Grim fair, Joe, to be yeah. fair, Bleach is one of one of those anime or manga that you could you could feasibly lie your way out of it yeah. to make it seem like you've seen it without having seen it. Yeah. After after you've watched like a third, the first few arcs, then you kind of just you kind of just can well, just bullshit your way through. I, I too also want to see more Bank. I, I feel like, I feel <laughs> yeah. like it's the same with One Piece, right? Because One Piece is so long. It's like The Simpsons, right? Where everything that could ever happen has probably happened. <laughs> So you could be like, dude, my favorite episode is where like Homer Simpson becomes a crack addict. That's probably an episode of The Simpsons, right? I mean, you could, so you could probably do that with One Piece right now. You're the only <laughs> one who hasn't yeah. seen it. So you could just randomly be like, yeah, I love that episode where Luffy and um, Chopper yeah, me, yeah. make out. I love the ep I love the part <laughs> where the pirates find another band of pirates that are bad initially and then turn and are part of some military. And then they're like, dude, let's just be good. Let's help Luffy out, right? Oh yeah, the Water 7 arc. Is that, <laughs> is that like a thing? That's that, probably that a thing, right? That probably happens. Probably, yeah, probably it's, something. It's, it, that, that was vague enough that- uh, Yeah, if I keep it vague, right? <laughs> that could be about four different arcs in One Piece. Yeah, because I know enough base information about One Piece. I still haven't read it yet. Again, I yeah, downloaded yeah. some episode, some chapters on my phone, mm. but maybe maybe one day. So, you, so you're downloading a lot of chapters now, I see. No, I have like, I have like 10 volumes downloaded, which right. is much. How far into? I don't, I, I don't fucking know. Well, because I, we're approaching what volume one hundred of One Piece. Yeah, we're, we're approaching a th chapter a thousand, I think, aren't yeah. we? Which is going to be a landmark, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> a thousand I chapters. Don't. That's uh, can you imagine? Dude, fucking a thousand every week. A thousand chapters. I cannot fucking imagine. That's a thousand man. weeks at least minimum. Because <laughs> what is, I what, is he married? The author? I think so. I it's, think so. It's kind of interesting. May then be the fact checker. Yeah, it's is kind Oda of interesting married? actually because Oda Ichi, Oda, Oda Ichiro, the great I one feel piece. like you can't be married and make One Piece. Like it's it's pick one. <laughs> well, it's right? so interesting because like I feel not a he whole- is married, He is married, yes. Okay, so because like not a whole lot about Oda is even known yeah. because he yeah. so rarely makes any like TV appearances mm. or like interview appearances because he's too busy fucking writing a chapter a week, right? He's Same. not just doing that because Oda, out of every author, is way more involved in the anime production as well. Right, you're right. Because normally, he helps with, produce, right? yeah, yeah, with, with, with normally a lot of anime productions, people are just like, okay, there's the author, and then the author just gets sidelined and they just continue doing their stuff, and maybe mm. they'll watch the anime, you know. Yeah. But you know, Oda's been involved in a lot of the anime production, which I don't. Where does he find the time to do this? I don't, I don't know. know. How like. As this a man is like a time management machine. As right? a Shonen Jump author, I don't know how you can have a life. Like most authors don't have a life outside of mm. their magazine. I mean, most of them have health complications because of how much yeah. they work. Not to mention that like, I swear with every new chapter, Oda's art is just evolving. 
Like it's getting more, like some of the recent chapters are so fucking detailed where it's yeah. like, how do you draw this in a week? Yeah, exactly. Like people like to piss on One Piece character designs because, yeah. oh, it looks cartoonish, it looks childish. They do look fucking weird. They, they do look weird. Yeah, but at least it's like yeah. so distinct to the point where you can look at a character and be like, oh yeah, that's a One Piece character. Yeah, yeah, true. But like, you like, say about like, Simpsons, but you don't have <laughs> well, yeah. a family guy character. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe. But I would argue that like, that's better than a fucking generic ass looking character that could fit into any yeah. like, you know, I mean, show it's, of that it's caliber. Way, right? or any one of Oda's character designs is way more memorable than here's generic isekai protagonist number that's 75 true. True. that yeah, looks yeah. like Kirito just reskinned. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like that's, that's my, I think, I think that's my biggest problem with a lot of light novel adaptations is that you can tell light novel adaptations nowadays by just by just the character designs. How they look. And just the art <laughs> styles, right? Yeah, because the character designs haven't changed from like 10 years ago. Yeah, I know, right? It's like good looking boy with average proportions with uh, spiky hair, color it in. <laughs> exactly. A weird color, there you go. Like even even a lot of like the girls as well. Cause I, I think one- like one His of, pink haired character. Yeah, <laughs> like like one, one of my favorites, uh, one of my favorite female characters to come out in, of recent times yeah. is uh, Mai Sakurajima from Bunny Girl Senpai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I really liked all of the cast there and all of the characters, but my God, they have such forgettable character designs. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Compared to some of some of the character designs from say like Monogatari or something like that, yeah, yeah. which, you know, it gets compared to compared a lot to, and I see the same charm, but in terms of the memorability of the character designs, it's just Bunny Girl Senpai just looks like the most generic. Well, I mean, that's why that they had honest, to- That's only one of the reasons I just didn't watch it. Well, that's yeah. that's, that's like, why they had to put her in a bunny costume, right? To like <laughs> yeah, exactly. differentiate between all the other characters. Exactly. Yeah. Because there's a lot of anime characters just like silhouette or eyes, right? You can just, you know. Right. And uh, like, you know, I would yeah. argue again, like that's I think one of the strong suits about One Piece, right? Is that like, because the characters look so fucking wacky, yeah. you can immediately tell that's a One Piece character. Yeah, yeah sure. and it's the the way I describe Oda is it, it's some, it, it's like you're reading a story with from someone who has the imagination of a 10 year old, but the writing skills of like Joel R. R. Martin or something like that. Yeah, You know what I mean? It, it, it's so weird because you see a character like this, cross-dressing ballerina, for example. Yeah. And you're like, what is this wacky Number character? Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Two. I mean, so Mr. yeah, Mr. Mr. Two, Mr. Two, yeah, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Two. Mr. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> yeah. I always get the numbers mixed Mr. Up. Two, Bon Clay Summer. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mr. Green Eggs and Ham, I love <laughs> He's great, I love that guy. But yeah, you, you see his character design for the first time and mm. you're just like this, I'm never gonna give a shit about this character. Yeah. And then he mm. ends up in later arcs, bringing you to tears sometimes. Mm. And you're just like, how did this happen? How, how does he make, <laughs> How did Oda make me care about this person right now that you can see on screen? Yeah. Anyone who hasn't watched One Piece is probably looking at this being like, what the who fuck? Who is this clown? Who is, <laughs> who is this literal clown? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's your that's your your weekly jack off to to one piece segment of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. As, as we're gonna do every week now. Yeah. For example. Well, we're gonna do every week until you <laughs> until you start reading yeah. it. And if I read it, we'll just become a fucking One Piece podcast. <laughs> no, 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 it won't. Uh, we, we, it won't. But it, uh -huh. it might become uh -huh. more of a manga oh podcast. Yeah, or it might be. <laughs> podcast. I mean, my my, I'll spend like twenty hours reading a manga. My review will be like, yeah, it's alright. Oh, so wait, yeah. so what would you give out of ten, Claymore? Six. Six, six. I see. Really? I, I don't want to read anyone else's reviews of manga <laughs> at all. I don't want to know because I feel like right now because I, I don't head out there. because <laughs> I don't I don't touch anything with the reviews in terms of manga. I don't yeah. know what the popular opinion is. I don't know if I should go into a thing think it's good or bad. I just see something and I'm like, I'll read that and make up my own choice. Kind of like it that I'm in my own bubble of like. I that's, don't give a shit what, enough. what anyone else thinks. It's weird, right? Cause I feel like manga readers just exist in their own bubbles, right? Mm. Cause when we talk about the anime community, most people refer to it as like the anime and manga community. It's, it's we, we, we kind of, we kind of, we kind of assume that we're just syn synonymous with each other, right? Mm. But then there are times when I just kind of realize that I have no idea what's going on in the manga world sometimes. Yeah. Like yeah. there's this recent, uh, there's this airing anime right now called uh, Hori Mia. That, uh, the fuck is that? So yeah. good. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. So May 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 Lin's just like fan yeah, girl. The manga is favorite manga according the to Mei Lin. fucking awesome. Like um, when the when the anime got it, is getting adapted, there was like so many manga readers that yeah, were they, just- They come out. They, they come just, out, they just come, just, they just come out and say, oh my God, this is my favorite manga. Yeah. I fucking love this manga. <laughs> and, and here I am thinking, where, what is this rock that you're all living under? <laughs> what is this rock? No, no, no. Like, this is the thing, right? I say six out of 10, but I'm sure yeah. that they're like me. They're like, I forget about it. But when the, the anime is announced, I'm like, yo, yo, that's my- <laughs> That's my fucking 
favorite. I love that one. I read that ages ago. I loved that. No, because the thing is, I had never heard of Horimiya before the anime got adapted yeah. this winter season, right? right? And I'm just like, it must be a pretty, like, it must have like a cult following or something. So search it up. And oh, it, it has is, a cult following. And right. it is the 13th most popular manga of all time what? on my anime list. What? And I'm just like, how have I ever, how have I never heard this name before? Or mm. how, how has no one discussed this in my presence before? Right, right. I reading, thought, reading bad. That's <laughs> but that's the thing. That's what I find so interesting about the manga world is that even if it's like universally praised and credited yeah. as being this most amazing piece of work, right? Yeah. In the manga world, it's just really surprising how few people in the anime community actually know about it. Like I guarantee fucking T, not many people know about like Oyasumi Pun Pun. Even though I think it's like the second or third highest rated manga on yeah, Mal. I, I, I feel like I feel like I don't know some like scene in manga. You mm. you have like the scene in Big Four. I think you have like Vinland Saga. Always the fucking big numbers. <laughs> it, it is because it's it's well, like, it's not quite the medium four, is it? Yeah. <laughs> why, why why always the, the big small ones? four? What happened to the top? You know that, <laughs> that, that 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 describes things pretty well. Never mind. We carry should on. we should rename it. Not mm. the, like the Giga Four. Or something. The Giga Four. <laughs> the Giga Four. It, it might it might be three. I, I can't remember because like it's it's. Well, well which uh, ones are you referring to? Uh, you know, you know, like the crowd that always talk about Vinland Saga. Berserk. It's either Vinland Saga, Berserk, or uh, fucking Golden uh, Camry. Fuck Vagabond. Oh, Vagabond. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think there's one more that is in that genre that everyone w keeps. Maybe Golden Camry. No, it's not Golden Camry, but. Maybe it's just a big three. Maybe maybe I'm just imagining things, but there's, there's mm. like, I feel like a lot of seinen manga gets talked about as, as like these masterpieces, you know mm. what I mean? But some like slice of life romance manga like Horimiya that is apparently very popular, mm. just don't get talked about in the same sphere. And- Well, I would argue that like even the big, the big three seinen, as I guess we've coined it now, like barely get talked about. Like it upsets me how few people know about like Vagabond. Really? Yeah. I feel like a lot of people know about Vagabond. I don't know about Vagabond. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying, right? It's like, God I, damn it, Connor. I, I know it is a title that exists. I know absolutely nothing about it. So Vagabond essentially is, uh, it's a samurai manga. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I would, but it's done by uh, the author who did Slam Dunk. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that sounds cool. So, you know, we're somehow not only managed to make one of the greatest sports manga ever made, but also one of the greatest samurai manga ever yeah, made. Yeah. And it's the... fucking amazing. Okay. Yeah. How many chapters is it? Still going, oh, still ongoing, yeah. but it's, it's, uh, it's on hiatus. But <laughs> it's, I, I don't know what it is about this, you know, the the brutal seinen manga where the, you yeah. get up to like two hundred or three hundred chapters, and the author's just like, I, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, now. I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> I think like I, I, the least the manga I've read, it feels like they build up like a really cool world, and again, they just like it either gets too big, yeah. and they're just like, right, we're gonna rein this in, yeah, or like it just gets way too big, and it ends with like so many fucking things not explored. Yeah, because because like yeah, going back to Hunter Hunter, like I, it, it got up to a point when I'm just like, this is a this is a comfortable place to end it. You know what I mean? This <laughs> this is a comfortable place to like could have try. Ended it, well. Yeah, no, it, it definitely could have ended it. Right. And then she introduces the dark continent, which yeah. without spoiling the exact details of it is. So matter. you have- you no, have no, this, no one's ever gonna see the end of it. You have <laughs> this you have this world <clears throat> that Togashi built up in Hunter Hunter. Right. And it was like, how, how long was like the run? Whatever. The, it's the, like 148 episodes. Yeah, 148 Jesus. episodes, right? Yeah. And it, it ended to a point where you explored everything you needed to explore about the world, right? And he went on hiatus and everyone was just like, oh, you know, Hunter Hunter must be coming to an end. Right. And then he comes back and he's just like, JK, by the way, this is just one fifth of the world. That's, I hate it when they do that, man. Like, <laughs> like don't don't come here and pull that out of your ass. It, it's, it's like a fucking like parody iPhone presentation. It's like, but wait, there's more. And it's like, wait, but no, stop, stop. There shouldn't be more. As cool as the idea is of like expanding the world, it's honestly one of the things that makes me roll my eyes the most when I've been reading manga lately yeah. is when they're like, but there's another continent or planet. And I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> there, there is not going to be another planet that, that is going to be satisfied. Yeah, that's that's exactly how I felt when, like, uh, you know, in like Dragon Ball, when yeah. they started yeah. expanding on like multiverse. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> multi I was like, bruh, I thought like I thought like blowing up planets yeah. and like taking over the universe was yeah. hard enough, and yeah, now it's yeah. like, <sighs> well, uh, you know, there's like seven more universes out yeah, there that we can explore. Nothing as well. gets my chub like softer than hearing multiverse or like <laughs> expanding the universe out of. Like I think the one thing I hate the most is how like. I don't mind them like introducing that kind of thing if they actually follow yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, but the problem right? is they, they just they'll just drop it. 
in like a chapter, they'll be like, oh, by the way, there's <laughs> other worlds. And then it's like, no, there wasn't. There was never other worlds. You never made this manga with other worlds in mind. You liar, you're adding this now. Like, cause, yeah, that is cause, true. Cause like, okay, back, sorry to bring it up again for like the ninth time, but like when I was reading Claymore, they yeah. just casually mentioned that like, there's two worlds having a war. And then it's like never brought up again. And then they just, it just ends. And we never hear anything about the other right. world that's ha apparently having a war. And it's like, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. So everyone gets to go alone happy. But the whole reason why this world exists is because there was a war and this is like a testing. It's really bullshit. Like yeah. I don't, I don't like it when they do this, especially when the manga is like, you know, it's been going on for a long time right. and it already feels like it's stretching thin and then they're yeah. like, another world, baby. And it's like, no, 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 no. True, true, true. Because like, and like you said, if they build it up, fine. But yeah. when they just drop it, I hate it. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you, you sometimes see these plot points in manga that is just like dropped. And for, for some reason, you just never, never hear about it again. Like aside from other worlds, the biggest example I can think of is the Gantz manga. Oh my God. <laughs> where, I love that one, but I was yeah. so dumb. Yeah, where I just like, remember when there were vampires in it? And that was a big plot point. Oh yeah, and then like they the just gang. disappeared. Yeah, yeah. And just were just never heard about again. There's a lot of stuff in Gantz. So if you haven't read Gantz, um, I guess you could. Uh, it's very long. It's the artwork is fucking amazing. We, yeah. we spoke about it before, but yeah, mm -hmm. randomly halfway through they introduce vampires into a world that yeah. never had vampires, and <laughs> yeah. then they just never come up again. <laughs> Not gonna lie, like I barely remember any of it because I think at that point I kind of just like erased it from my <laughs> yeah, mind. Yeah, I was yeah. like, "This is so dumb. I don't even want to like pertain it to memory." I, I just, I just kind of, I always offhand remember it. You know, sometimes you just get flashbacks. You wake up at night you just, sweating. Yeah, you wake oh, up. God, there was vampires. You, you wake up and you're just like, "What ever happened to those vampires? Where did they disappear <laughs> to? They were built up as like the big fucking villains or yeah, something, yeah, and yeah. then yeah, they yeah. just, they just went nowhere with it." Yeah, yeah. I guess that's the the problem of when you're like serializing a manga every week. I wonder how much of it like is actually planned before and how much of it yeah. just feels like it's falling apart. Exactly, while making. Which, is, which is why like the more manga I read, the more I respect so something like One Piece, which can keep coherency this long, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and, it get, and it just continually getting more and, just and more continually, epic, right? Can, and just continually getting better and better. But um, I mean, like that's also why I really value when a manga just, has a good ending, not even a manga, but just mm. any me any media in anime, manga, or light novels <clears throat> that just has an ending yeah. that people are satisfied I, with. I don't ask for much, <laughs> but I do ask for a satisfactory ending to a story. I, I, I've, I've just, the more I've been reading manga, my pet peeve is like where it just starts to fall apart in the last 40, 50 chapters. Yeah, right, that's right, been really, yeah. that's been happening a lot. Nothing, nothing ruins, I feel like an experience of going through this entire long journey with these characters that you fall in love with in this world that is interested yeah. in you. To come to like, Olympic ending, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like there, are, there are like I, I, I swear to God, I can count the amount of like satisfying endings on like my hands in in that I've read in manga, right? Because there is like most of the manga that I love are still ongoing, like yeah. classics like Berserk, Vagabond, yeah. Vinland Saga, for yeah. example. And then there are you know other things like Slam Dunk, where you just feel you know it just kind of kind of just ended. You know what I mean? It, it, it had its, you know. It well, come on, you, you can't say that that final chapter of Slam Dunk. Don't what, spoil it for me, I wanna read it. Okay, well, essentially, like, I'm not gonna tell you how the story goes because there's yeah. a lot to unpack, but basically like Slam Dunk, I really liked the final chapter of Slam Dunk because it was kind of like experimental almost because Almost another dimension. No, no. <laughs> Where the basketball slam dunk or, you. No, because uh, what what really made that like final chapter famous was the fact that almost the entirety of the final chapter has no dialogue. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I and like it's that. just like, it, it, like basically, he was just like, let me just show you the story rather than telling you the story. Yeah. I, I I don't have the problem with the final chapter. Yeah. Uh, I I just felt like like if, with if, like the wrap up, right? Yeah, I, I felt yeah. like. They, they 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 could have gone further yeah. with the entire story, and I feel like he just kind of ran out of ideas and just kind of just ended it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But um, it's it's not it that it wasn't a great final chapter. It mm. was just that I I wanted to spend more time with these characters. No, and I, I feel get like it. there could have been yeah. room to spend more. time That was with me the with Hikaru no Go. <laughs> Oh Dude, my god. If we're, if we're talking about no if we're talking about absolute cuckold endings, like Hikaru oh no Go. So Hikaru no Go is a show. No, 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 not a Go manga. It's it's. You know what Go is? Yeah, Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like of course, black of course. And white Isn't this one stone. where the is this one the ghost teaches him? Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah, one yeah, where yeah. the ghost yeah. teaches him. Doesn't end well. Uh, it <laughs> it just ends. Oh, okay. It just okay. ends. I, you know what no I mean? It ends in like a really controversial way. Oh, I see. Where people are kind of just like. 
<laughs> wow, there, there must have been some like strings behind the scenes that were kind of just like, you're gonna end it this way, whether you like it or not, kind yeah. of thing. Because oh, wow. it's very, very unsatisfactory. Yeah, um, that's sad. Nobody was happy Are there any that. good endings that you can think of off the top of your head? Aside from Oyasmi Pun Pun, because I, I, I know you're gonna, say, I know you're about to mention I'll, Oyasmi Pun Pun. That's least, the first thing I think of <laughs> I, when I think of the most like genius ending. It's Oyasmi Pun Pun. Yeah. I haven't read like many manga compared to Jerry, but I don't know. I'm I'm happy enough if it just doesn't completely fuck itself near the end. Yeah, I honestly, right. and I, yeah. is that how it, is that how it is to be but a manga like, fan? You, no, like where no, you no, just no. like as long as it doesn't completely fuck everything yeah. up. Even yeah. if it's I'll like okay. even if yeah, it's yeah. like average, I'm still satisfied with. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Because like I just recently finished watching uh, reading B Stars because yeah. right? yeah. the last volume came out like a week ago. Yeah. Not the strongest ending in my opinion, but it wasn't a complete shit show of an ending. So okay. I was like, you know what? I'm satisfied. Yeah, like, yeah. okay, could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse as right. well. So, is the ending of a manga that important? QV source music. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I feel like if an ending of a manga or even an anime is good, that can bring it up from like a from like a decent show to like a fucking masterpiece level. I agree. Level. I, I honestly, because I, yeah, go on, go on. I mean, I mean, the the biggest example I can think of is the clusterfuck that was Code Geass season yeah, two. Yeah, we mentioned and this last yet, week, yeah. And yeah, and yet somehow the like I will never forget it because of how great the ending was. Um, mm, Same yeah. with something like Cowboy Bebop, for example, mm, as well. I think the ending matters more in anime than it does in manga. <laughs> what, I think what, it matters. Do think, what do you think is the difference? I don't know. I think the way length. that you- length. length. Length and the way that you experience it. I remember vastly the best bits of a manga more than I do like, I, say, I, I when I look back on manga, I remember it as like an amalgamation of like the whole experience mm, reading yeah. it, as opposed to episodes and like scenes. Right. And also, um, yeah, so I just find that when I finish a manga, I rarely ever think about the ending of any of them. I just think about my favorite moments throughout really? the manga. I'm, I'm the complete opposite, actually. You think about the ending. Right? I think with manga, I think more about like certain scenes. Mm. Whereas with anime, I think about it kind of in a, as a whole. Yeah. yeah. And I think maybe it's because I binge anime. So I kind of experience the anime all at once. Yeah, Whereas yeah. with manga, a lot of it, because it's, you know, rather long. Like, it's like for me. a <laughs> couple of episodes, uh, a couple of volumes, right? I, I binge both, so I guess, Ending is always important to me, yeah. Um, especially if I've I felt like I've spent like a lot of time with these characters. Yeah. Like, right. like it doesn't have to be a it doesn't have to be like an amazing ending. But yeah. what I want is a satisfying ending. But if there's an ending that is actually amazing and sticks with me, then yeah. I'll always remember that manga. That's mm. true because I read all of Vinland Saga, which mm -hmm. is amazing. Yeah, up to the point where it was out like a few months ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if uh, if I never read it again, I'd probably be happy knowing that I had a good story up to where it, or up to where I got to, which sounds right. weird because it like literally was in the middle of like a fight. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I've read a lot. I've read, <laughs> I'm satisfied. I've, I've read so much of this that I'm actually satisfied. Like, right. yeah, I, yeah. If, it, if I just stop reading this manga, right. I'll be okay. Yeah. Like I'm fine. But I, but I guess that's where the double-edged sword is, right? Is yeah. that the longer the manga goes for, the more greater of an ending you expect. I, like, almost, I guess or, or, so. But or sometimes, or sometimes you just because sometimes you are you've read a manga for so long that you kind of just want it to end. You can, yeah, you, you kind of just you kind of just because that was me with Naruto. So where, many, so many. That was I mean, me with Naruto. That was me with Bleach. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where they they got to a point when I was just like, I am reading this purely because I've invested so much time in it. It's, it's, yes, yeah. it's, uh, it's, yes, it's the league problem, right? Yeah. You're just like <laughs> I've invested so much time in this. Yeah. That I just need to, I just need to play it out. What, I just, what, I would, just, what would you say is the cap then? I, no, you just know it's like a feeling, right? Like yeah. when I was reading Ice Shield, I, like when I got to like chapter like two hundred and fifty, I'm like, all right, let's wrap it up. Like, <laughs> but it had like another hundred left. Right, and I was right. like, all right, I like this felt like it went on long enough. Like it yeah. felt like they were adding too many things. Like, yeah. and a lot of manga have had that where like, what was once a gigantic threat earlier on, yeah. even though they haven't changed much in power, mm. will suddenly be like, they dispatch it in like one, <laughs> one hit. Right. Like, there's so many stuff like that where it's like, so this really cool fucking enemy you introduce, you start just one shotting later on. It's like, what's the point of this? Like, you're just completely ruining all the stakes right. over and over again. I hate it. Also, some reason, man, some fucking action scenes are like nigh on impossible to figure out what the fuck is going on in manga. <laughs> like, I'm 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 looking at these panels and there's shit going on, and I'm like, right. I, I would need to like get my, my fucking pen and draw along to like try and figure out what the actual choreography is. Do you right. know like, like, like bird's eye view kind of like yeah. layout. I would have more chance having like a battlefield view and you showing me like like little fucking statues moving. Right. Like Joe some, fans trying to figure out King, King Crimson. Yeah, yeah, before the anime. Yeah, yeah. So, that was literally me. I was so, like, what's going on? So many at, at manga. I'm like, I will sit there for a good like 30 seconds staring at this like, 
Yeah, I have no idea, fucking idea. <laughs> that, <what> that's, <laughs> that's the problem I had with like Jojo Leon. Cause yeah. I was, I'm reading it and I'm like, these stand powers are getting so fucking weird yeah. that I'm looking at something and I'm like, I guess the stand is doing its power, but I don't know what the fuck which, it's doing. Which, which is odd, because then in action and manga, I start to like not really care about, because half the time you can barely fucking tell what's actually happening. <laughs> yeah. And you're yeah. just like putting the dots. I don't know, there's something about watching the fight unfold yeah. in like the way it was meant to, in like a timed way with music and noise. Right. It's so much more I satisfying. I, mm. I, I don't know, because I feel like that is the problem with a lot of anime fights, period, right? Yeah. Is that they don't actually feel like fights. They feel like just, they, they feel like impacts intermittently uh, with with dialogue yeah, in between. Basically. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. like no one, no one, you see some anime fights and you think no one actually fights like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no one throws a punch, says a sentence, yeah. then throws a punch back. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's not how fights work. That's which is literally every Bucky fight ever. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. What's, which what's is, a fight without a dialogue? Come yeah. on, Gaunt. Cause <laughs> like, that's why, for example, the fights in God of High School really stood out to me. Cause they actually felt like a martial arts fight. You know what I mean? Mm. Now, say what you want about the story or the whatever, but the way the fights were directed and framed and just, Chore choreographed, they felt like actual fights. It felt, felt like, like a, it felt like a Jackie Chan fight, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I'm because that's what that's what immediately stood out to me about that direction and that mm. animation was that you know sometimes you get like the nar narrative episode where you, you have like you have like the basic normal narrative fights and then you have like this one episode that is just like the the studio putting all their budget and their A team on one fucking fight and yeah. then that you that that is the fight that people remember. You know right. what I mean? But most anime fights are just. They, I mean, they, they are literally just animated manga panels and you can't tell what's <laughs> going on in a manga panel with action most yeah. of the time. Yeah. So that's really what sets the good fights from the bad fights. Sometimes you opinion. need that dialogue, right? To help build it up. It's like a, it's like a good porn, right? Oh, Sometimes oh. you need the story to make the fucking worthwhile. Well, of you know course, I mean? but yeah, yeah. you know, I think there's like a limit to how much dialogue you oh, can yeah, put some in the right? yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, that's one thing I didn't like about like a lot of Naruto fights is the fact that it's like, I don't need a fucking flashback <laughs> in the middle of a punch. I, 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 like, I, I, I don't I, need that. Yeah, I, I like it when they're like internalizing their thoughts on the battle. That's yeah. more interesting to mm. me than yeah. them fucking being like, ah, you're strong. And it's like, well, obviously yeah. that's why you're fucking <laughs> fighting each other. Not gonna <laughs> lie, my, my least favorite like, anime fight trope is like the, the guy in the sidelines explaining everything while it's happening. <laughs> to be fair, that, that's either hit or miss. Yeah. Cause the only, like one of the only- Speed wagon. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I was about to yeah, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like it's it's either speed wagon or it's shit basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, it's like, it's like, I don't know how this person is able to like explain every fucking like physics movement as yeah. this guy is doing a fucking one inch punch, right? Yeah. It's like, it's like what is the time frame? <laughs> How is that happening? Yeah. And then there's like Baki, which is just like you you have an esports commentator just like explaining <laughs> every detail and technique and the fucking backstory. <laughs> and I love that, man. I, that's fucking great. I love it. That's the thing, right? It's like if it's like JoJo or Baki where it's 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 gotten to the point where it's so unrealistic mm, that it just yeah. becomes ridiculous and exactly. funny. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. Exactly. But I hate it when they try and make it as if it's happening in real time. Mm. And it's like, don't kid yourself, guys. Like there's no like you'd have to be fucking like rap god in order to like <laughs> commentate over it that fucking quickly as it's happening. Yes, yeah, sometimes you see, you just hear a piece of dialogue in the time it takes us for like one punch to get thrown. Yeah. And like a punch is just like a fucking millisecond, right? Yeah. And they have this five minute dialogue in the middle of their head <laughs> in between this punch getting thrown. And it's just like, like a multi-page like exchange, <laughs> yeah. right? It's like, where's the punch? Where's the impact? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, go on, sorry. No, sorry. I'm just like, this, is time dilation just a thing when <laughs> anime characters get punched or something? Like Einstein's <laughs> rolling in his grave right now when, <laughs> when whenever a punch gets thrown, man. Yeah. Oh. And also how many fucking manga is there where like someone gets fucking stabbed and then like they're like, but you fell in my trap. And it's like, how many, how many times have you practiced this where you've just been like stabbed or punched and this was like part of your plan? Like this is just like too, it happens so fucking often or like sometimes they'll get like a fatal wound yeah. and they'll immediately like heal it. And it's like, what? Yeah, but then again, right? It's like that that kind of goes back into the whole thing of like Shonen how ridiculous fight. it is yeah, as true. well, right? Like true. Bucky does that so fucking often where it's yeah. like, you should be dead after one punch, yeah. but you've somehow managed to survive like 10 punches, a stab wound and like three gunshots and you're still able to like form a dialogue. Well, I, f I feel like Baki is just what, like one side of the extreme where it's so extreme that you yeah. can't take it seriously yeah. anymore. I but I mean, I, I mean, a lot of anime fights and like anime tropes, like 
anime is just normalized getting punched and coughing up blood. Whereas in real life, you're internally hemorrhaging and that's, <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, you're probably you, gonna die if, if you internally hemorrhage, let's be honest. If you cough up blood, bro, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're dead. You're just dead. <laughs> Yo, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> if you smash your head through a concrete wall, which is apparently normal in anime, then you've got a fucking concussion, you know? Or, or just a splattered head. Like you'll have no head probably. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> I want a realistic like toast dubbing scene in anime. That's what I want. That's what I want to experience. What is, uh, I mean, N toast- N Nichi Joe could have done it. Yeah, yeah probably. Toast dubbing is like the, the closest I get to a real life anime scene, right? I, I, I want someone to just animate someone stubbing their toe and then it's just like immediately like a Jojo's like, they're like cough up blood and they're like, <laughs> no, cause in, in real life, like bo -bo 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 probably did yeah. something like that. Cause like in real life, I don't know what it is about stubbing your toe. Like you stub your toe and it's one of the few injuries you get where you do it and you know the pain is coming, but for some reason there is a pain delay between you stubbing your toe and the immense pain you're about to feel. Like if there was a time for a real life anime flashback, it's it's in that delay. <laughs> it's if, in that pain delay, man. If, if now, if you're an anime character, you would realize that you can synchronize your energy to counter the blow incoming. That's <laughs> yeah. what, come on, come on, come on. You can stop the, the nervous system from delivering it to your <laughs> yeah, brain. Exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that's the closest you get to a fucking anime injury or whatever. I, I wonder, uh, do you guys want to talk about Attack on Titan? Because <laughs> Twitter's funny right now. <sighs> Twitter's funny. That, that, that I, mean, like, I mean, what is there to talk about? Like, okay, yeah. I didn't realize how much of a fucking clown fiesta Twitter is about Attack on Titan. How are the, How is? How have people turned this into a thing to like dislike? I don't understand. Like, I, I don't like. I I knew there was something wrong when I woke up in the morning and went onto Twitter. Like and thank saw, you Mappa, right? Yes. Uh, hashtag yeah. Thank you Mappa was training. I was like, oh yeah. no, what oh, the no. fuck are these clowns doing now? It's it's like every time every time Attack on Titan airs, like you go on Twitter and something about Attack on Titan is trending. Yeah. So and the time of recording is episode six. Yeah. Came mm. out. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and basically the most recent thing that happened was, uh, what was it people people on Twitter were just attacking the staff members. They were- Why? What's wrong like, with I, you? I think, I think what I read was some people were just harassing the director for one of the music choices that was that was made um, in Why? one of the big scenes. And it got so bad that he had to deactivate his Twitter. He uh, did? Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. a bunch of animators as well are getting harassed. I, I'm literally watching this thing like, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> Why are people getting angry? <laughs> like, is there, like, what was wrong with the song? Like, I, 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 who the fuck knows? Maybe it's I, I like I'm fucking losing words yeah. because it's so, so fucking it's stupid so dumb. and dumb. If that you I'm, do that, you don't deserve anime. I'm just saying right now, like you just you just don't deserve. You anime. ain't a real anime. You're fan. not a real anime fan I, if you what, do that. What blows my mind is that. Like at the end of the day, a lot of these people, right? We're, we're just we're just anime fans. Why on earth? Do you think you have the right to then just go to like the director or whatever and yeah, be like, right? I fucking hate the you. The fucking how audacity you? to be yeah. like, you try and make an anime <laughs> like, and see how you, if you can make a fucking good, like, <laughs> you know what I want to do is like, I just want to like kind of, cause I think one of the things I saw yesterday was people mm -hmm. were complaining about uh, one of the Titans being like really bad yeah, CGI well, that, or whatever. Yeah. I, I'm watching this thing, right? And the CGI is honestly like barely noticeable. Yeah. It's yeah. really like not even remotely like- Yeah. I just want to like go up to all those people complaining about the CGI CGI and like link them to any scene from like Berserk 2016. Yeah, They're like this is what bad CGI looks like. These are the same like. people who will fucking take the clip, right? And then run it through fucking Sony Vegas, call it 4K and re-upload it and be like, this is a 4K fight scene, oh guys. <laughs> That's my least favorite people. thing. Like it's it's absolutely absurd. Like 60 I, FPS 4K yeah. fight scene. <laughs> Which is like the Let's dumbest go, fucking baby. Trend. The description is like, I fixed this fight. Yeah. <laughs> I dumbest, made it better. Dumbest fucking thing. Yeah. You cannot Don't do that. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I was, cause I tweeted out saying something like fucking, oh, Attack on Titan B really do be carrying 2021. Yeah. Obviously not being a hundred percent serious about that. I'm not, I'm not literally sitting there being like my 2021 would be ruined if Attack on Titan wasn't airing. <laughs> like, like there's some, yeah. some my yeah. God, the arguments that fucking arose oh, in those comments. I, I, I made like, I made like an Attack on Titan tweet, immediately muted it. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> I, I've, I've done this enough times before to know that Saying anything about Attack on Titan, whether positive or negative, you just set up a, you just set up a minefield. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. It's like I I you know I tweeted it. I came back four hours later, and then 
you know, as I'm, you know, because you refresh your Twitter, you see the most yeah. recent reply. And it was something about like Japanese whaling laws that they were arguing about. And then I clicked on it. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I click on this thing and it goes up like 50 replies back and forth. These two people going at it because one of them said that like ReZero season two was going to be better. And they somehow devolved into like an attack on Japan. And I was like, what the fuck is do happening? these people uh, have like anything else to do? I just, I just don't understand understand how people can be angry about like a great thing like even if there's cgi in it that is barely noticeable wh what's wrong it's getting adapted and yeah. it looks good We've, yeah. we're getting what I mean, we want i, I feel, don't understand I why feel, people are being so pathetic i feel like this is coming from the perspective of a lot of let's say more like entitled manga readers right because mm -hmm. you can be disappointed in some ways of an anime adaptation because you, there, there, are, there are sometimes when you read a manga and you have an imagination about how this manga is gonna play out if it was animated. Right. And with something like Attack on Titan, where the bar by Studio Wit was set so fucking high, yeah. right? That you go to Mapper, which I still think Mapper is doing a it. fucking fantastic yeah. job. We've had bangers, so we, far. we've yeah. had fucking bangers. Absolutely. And what I will say is like it's like the tiniest of nitpicks, right? Where I would say that it's gone from like a ten out of ten adaptation to like a nine out of ten adaptation. Mm. Yeah, and that, that, that's that. that's that's the thing, right? It's 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 a very slight step down from wit. It's not bad by any step. It's just a very slight step down. It's like like the Yeah, the, but people are taking that as if it went from like a ten to a one. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly, right? And the thing is it's a nine out of ten adaptation for ten out of ten material. Yeah. You're still getting a fucking banger. Yeah. Yeah. So like I, this, I don't this, fucking get it. It's not seven deadly sins season three. So I don't <laughs> right. I really do not understand the problem here. And like you know, these are the, the people who are uh, uh, getting this nitpicky on Twitter and those manga readers are just the exact same kind of people who are just like when their kid's born, if their kid fucks up anything, they're like, well, it's ruined. It's fucked. Yeah. I, I, you know, all my expectations should have fucked. You know, I mean, it's ruined. What can I say? <laughs> They're what, like, what I, what they're I, just like, this isn't like what was in yeah. the manga. <laughs> they're, they're basing it off their own life. And if, it, if the child fucks up, they're like, well, fuck, it didn't stick they're to like the They're like looking at the ultrasound, they're seeing the baby born. It's like, well, that's not, that's not, that's not a good adaptation, is it? <laughs> so you tell me it's not going to be six yeah. foot. This Honestly, a, just put it back exactly, in. Get, get rid of the it. same. <laughs> that's the go, go completely on a tangent. That's how I completely feel about gender reveal parties. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't I don't understand the point of gender reveal parties. I've seen right? so many fucking like absurd gender <laughs> gender reveal party clips on like TikTok yeah. and stuff like that where I'm just like, this is just hilarious now. <laughs> Did you see the one where it's like, fuck, what was it? It was like there was like a, a a balloon, like a giant fucking balloon, like you know, maybe like this six. Is, this is the weirdest fucking tangent we've ever done. Yeah. No, because because what I what I was what I was thinking was <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah. No, okay, yeah, no, I was just gonna say like there's just like a giant like six seven foot balloon that this guy carries, yeah, and he's just like, all right, I'm gonna pop it, and it just explodes into this like colored like powder that just yeah. completely fills up the backyard. <laughs> no, because what I, what I'm thinking right is okay. The point of gender reveal party is to reveal the gender of the baby, right? Right, and celebrate that but like at which point do do you does like a gender get revealed and the father's just like oh it's 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 a girl no! oh oh karen karen get the get the coat get the coat hanger we're doing it again like what what kind of what kind of reaction do you expect the father and the mother to have you it's know like, what i mean it's like what human like most normal people will be like whether it's a guy or a girl, the reaction's gonna be the same. Exactly. You're gonna have a kid. I just think that we celebrate too many things. You know, I think we have enough things to celebrate. How hard is it to just say it's a boy? Like, how hard is it? Is, is like having the kid's birthday like not enough? Like, can we not just like I don't I like to me I legitimately don't understand like. We have so many things to celebrate. It's fucking exhausting. Who's planning all this shit? Like, who has this much free time? Honestly, <laughs> I, I barely can like get Christmas plans together. My own birthday. Like, who who has this? Is it the woman? She's pregnant. Shouldn't she be focused on that? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I wonder I'm, if there's like self fulfilling prophecy of like some people working in retail in America when a person comes in being like, "Give me all of your blue dye. <laughs> I need as much blue dye as possible." And they're like, "Oh fuck! All right, another one of these. All right." <laughs> But yeah, back to Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was, just, such a, that was, that was such a, a weird, weird transition. That was a weird tangent. Just Bo want, just bottom line, play. stop fucking complaining about Attack on Titan. It's good. I it's just feel fine. like I just feel like it's like because you know we, got, we I think there's a bunch of edgy, edgy people out there who are just like I don't want to admit that Attack on Titan is the best thing right mm. now. Yeah, I'm. I don't want to give it more clout than it deserves. 
and you know you see these fucking god awful takes on Twitter being like, yeah, it's, it was boring, dropped it right away. And it's like, who cares? Just let the people who are enjoying it well, fucking enjoy yeah, it's it. Like, yeah. it's like it's like, good. Stop shitting on. That's it. That's the thing. It's like you can have a, you can have an opinion about it, right? Like if you yeah. think it's shit, it's shit. Whatever. Don't fucking harass the animators over it. Yeah, it's the same thing with like when Game of Thrones is like around. Right. Like people yeah. like you know people just want to be that person who's like, yeah, I don't like Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, whatever. It sucks. Like, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, you're happy about it? Fuck, yeah. that's lame, bro. I'm not. I'm, I'm not excited about it. I'm not excited about anything, bro. Except Fuck my gender reveal party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only thing I get excited for is my baby's gender. Like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah, and I, for some reason, you know, I mean, it does happen in other genres as well. But yeah. for some reason, who are these? I don't even know the fucking ads of these creators that Twitter. How are they finding this shit? Why and why are they finding this shit just to fucking at them and tell them it's shit? Right, as if like one of the animators is going to be like, "Oh, thanks for your feedback. We'll change it immediately." Yeah, like they go yeah. to the they go to the annual meeting. Like, yo, yeah. guys, you seeing this? Like, people, are you, yeah. people don't like it. What the fuck? Yeah, so yeah. like uh, Mikasa276 on Twitter said that uh, we, should, we should just completely change the episode. It, it just changed studios. Yeah. Like what director's gonna be like, all right, fam, I got you. I mean, it kind of sucks that, you know, in the time where the Japanese industry and Japanese staff members are starting to, you know- We want know, them to open up. Yeah, to, to yeah. open up more to the international community. Yeah. This is the shit they have to deal yeah. with yeah. for some of like yeah. the yeah. biggest profile adaptations. I kind of want to just go up to them and be like, don't open up. <laughs> it's, it's not worth it. Don't, 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 go, well, don't well, go to Twitter. I do think, you know, there's a good amount of the people who are probably selling hate who probably don't want it to open up. Right. So to them, yeah. I think it, it's, you know, it's the same thing with like the idol and like kind of almost like the whole life fan base a little bit where they're yeah. like, we don't want our, our people to interact right. outside, ruin them. We don't want yeah. the normies we don't coming want, in. We don't, yeah. yeah, we don't want like the the American corporations getting their fingers in our Japanese like anime. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people who are like that, right? <laughs> as, as if they're Japanese themselves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of the time it does come from a place of, you know, non-Japanese. Yeah, non yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. We, we like, I get it. I get it. it if they were Japanese. Yeah, yeah. But most, if not all, well, are it's, not. it's like in your video when you did the uh, the anime studio tour, mm. yeah. and like the guy who was the director of the studio was like, "Oh, we have foreign fans." Yeah, and he, like he like genuinely, yeah. So the CEO of Cloverworks genuinely yeah. didn't know that they had. Fans. <laughs> I, I mean, a lot of people don't know that. Can they you had... blame him if he goes on Twitter? He's gonna get fucking. Yeah. Like, people yeah. are gonna tell him to kill himself. What? Like, <laughs> I would be like, no, they don't exist. Don't. No, no, don't no, exist no, no, they don't. They don't. Like honestly, <laughs> like like it's embarrassing. Embarrassing yeah. I'm just saying you do to make you feel better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I suppose if you think about it, it's, it's the same way, f it's the same mentality of like, for example, if we found out that Trash Tate has, or something had Japanese fans, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, oh, there's people in Japan who watch us. We have Russian fans. What, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what? We have a Russian dub? What? What's going on here? Get emails every week being like, you guys know you have like a Russian dub. Like, yeah. yeah, we know, yeah. we spoke about so, it. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> Yeah. Would you say that Attack on Titan is carrying your 2021? So far, yeah, dude. Every episode I'm getting fucking hyped for. I like, think people should just, you know, be appreciative of the fact that we're even fucking getting Attack on Titan, right? Like yeah. in the I midst mean, of a fucking pandemic. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, the fact is that Attack on Titan, it's it, it could be carrying any year because I don't think that anything <laughs> I, can live up to what Attack on Titan season four yeah. is giving us right now. And mm. I say this in the midst of, what I would- One of the strongest seasons we've ever had. I, I would mm. argue that this is the front, this is a contender for one of the strongest seasons in the history of anime. Uh, yeah. And really? that, that is a big statement, but like it's so stacked in every single genre yeah. and every single kind of, every, every single category you can think of that mm. I can't think of a single person who can't find at least two or three shows that they'll yeah. be watching mm. this season. And then on top of that, you have the classic being made. Th that is Attack on Titan. I, why yeah. would you, I, you know, if I was an anime studio and I found out when Attack on Titan was airing, I'd be like, you know what, just fucking hold on. Just like, don't, <laughs> <Yeah>. don't. <laughs> let's wait. Like, let's yeah. just, like on YouTube, you know, if you upload a video where like Shane Dawson dropped a documentary, it was like, just don't, just don't. Like, you, you ain't, you ain't it's getting- like, It's like movie companies being like, wait, Avengers is in cinemas right now. Well, don't yeah, you pull would, back, pull you back, pull back. release yeah. it the same time as Avengers. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah, you're yeah. like, what? no one's gonna watch it. Like. <laughs> Like so I almost, I would have been like, just hold off because yeah. Attack on Titan's gonna carry, like even yeah. if I, I only get to watch it once a week, it's yeah. gonna be in my mind the whole week. Yeah, so yeah. like, just hold off and give me a <laughs> banger next season. But now they all, everyone was like, let's all come let's, out right now. Yeah. Let's let's all have all our bangers right now yeah. in this one season. Cause like the amount of like, we, we've had a few seasons previously with some season twos here and there, yeah. but it seems like, Every season two mm. or like sequel this season is a fucking banger. Yeah, because like, has, 
Beastars is airing right now, right? Yep. Okay, so I do not know any. No one is talking about it. Yeah, because Attack on Titan is the only yeah. thing anyone gives a shit that about right now. Me. Okay, okay. So we we got Beastars too, which we got, is going to be amazing. We got Promise. Oh, ne we got Promise Neverland, which too. no one is talking. <laughs> yeah, no one's talking which about. No, do you which remember no one... when Promise Neverland came out? It was massive. Yeah. it was all anyone spoke <laughs> yeah. about. Yeah. Um, we got Log Horizon 3, Quince 2, uh, Quintessential Quintuplets yeah. 2. We got um, Dr. Stone 2. Yeah. I sleep. Um, huh? I sleep. Like that. <laughs> I sleep. Attack on Titan season two. I'm woke. I'm woke. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I mean, like, it's. How can you not, man? Like, every episode is just like a fucking, like, roller coaster. Yeah. And, like, for a lot of people, we've been on this for, like, Five plus years. This, yeah, this yeah. journey, right? It's it and it and it's and it's one of the few ones where it feels like it's run its natural course. It's, playing, and it's actually it's, it's actually coming mm. to an end. You know yeah, what I man. mean? And you know, I I I I said in a tweet that I feel like this is a we're watching a classic being made, and I I have no doubts that if like even if he doesn't like completely slam dunk the ending, even if it's just an okay, oh, it's gonna satisfying history, ending, yeah. it's gonna go down. As history. long as it's not like the crummiest fucking ending imaginable. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. I, wait, wait for it, multiverse. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm predicting multiverse. Yeah. <laughs> which I would like to think is not going to happen. I completely forgot, ReZero 2 is there in the season. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> Again, you just can't compete yeah, No right one's now. talking yeah, about no it. No one's talking about anything. And I'm just like, there's so many fucking bangers this season and like Attack on Titan is yeah. just taking over. Like yeah. I'm sure, cause I remember I was watching the last season of Breaking Bad as it was airing week by week. I'm sure I watched other TV shows during that time. I cannot tell you what I watched <laughs> other than, than fucking Breaking Bad yeah, weekly. True, true. Like it was like the highlight, right? Like yeah. it's what it takes up your your space and your hype for like, yeah. well for what it's gonna, be, it's gonna be 26 episodes I think, right? Attack on Titan. No, Something. it's gonna be fourteen. It's fourteen. Yeah. yeah. 14. So right Fuck. now, from what I've heard, like Small this, job. this is this is me going off of what I've read. Uh, Speculation heard from warning. Manga, manga readers. So it's gonna be fourteen episodes, I think, fourteen or fifteen, which doesn't take it up to the end of the manga because the end of the manga ends in April or something. Or, yeah, I heard that. Or yeah. April or May, I can't remember, but it's yeah. confirmed that the manga is going to be ending this late spring, summer kind of mm. time. I thought they were trying to do like a dual ending where it was gonna be, they both were like ending at the same time. I thought- Oh, uh, like an anime original ending. So, so well, no, 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 Like it was gonna, they, he was probably gonna, I thought he meant he, maybe he was gonna like tell them the studio, the ending. Oh. And they were no, talking. so what, so with the confirmed amount of episodes that's, that's out so far, mm. what people are thinking is gonna happen is either we're gonna get a season four part two, Fuck. or we are going to get a movie. And no. I and would, I'm speculating it's gonna be a movie. And I think, oh, I, I mean, think a movie is I mean, going to be more likely. I mean, look how fucking successful Demon Slayer. I know, oh, I, I know. They're gonna see that and they, <laughs> they probably saw them was like, we can do that with the last Attack on Titan thing. Just saying. Uh, honestly, like if- I'm gonna have to speed run Nihongo real quick. <laughs> they do. I'll be like, I'm, I'll, I'm going yeah, the I'll, day I'll, it comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I'll be like, Joey, Joey, what's he saying? What's he saying? What's he saying? <laughs> <laughs> to fucking type it out. Yeah, Joey, <laughs> Joey, please live translate for me, come on. Yeah, cause- I'll, um, hire, I'll hire a professional like, you know, the ones with the governments when they go to the like yeah. meetings, I'll, I'll hire them to get in the seat behind me in the theater. All, just I'm, whispering all I'm gonna ear. say is like personal reasons. I wish, I hope it's gonna be a movie just so I could be the first one to make a video on it. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I'll go. Oh I'll, yeah. No, no, you know, no, 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 I'm gonna go to the midnight screening and I'm gonna make a video and I'll be like, yeah guys, it was epic that <laughs> time. <laughs> Where uh, I I I'm, I would not do that. I'm to kidding. Myself. I'm joking. I, I would not ruin. I, I, I would not ruin possibly one of the greatest anime to go down in history <laughs> by just just for YouTube clickbait. No, yeah. I'd be like, so hey guys, I think I know what happened. I watched it all three times. I think I got the gist of what's going that, on. That was me with Made in Abyss. <laughs> yeah, we watched Dawn it together. Dawn yeah, in, uh, yeah. oh, what the fuck is the movie called? Dawn no, in I legit Deep okay. Soul or whatever. We, yeah, we watched the Made in Abyss movie with like obviously there's no subtitles. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure I understood what happened. <laughs> I'm pretty, <laughs> sure. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty sure I got it. I I, I got the gist. It was like um, plot, plot, questionable child porn, plot, <laughs> and then it get the arrow and then. <laughs> And I was just like, oh, Kevin, you did, you did, a, you did a good job. Cause Kevin was yeah, sitting right next yeah, to us. Yeah. And like, I was like, damn, this song's good, man. It's like go into hall, questionable child horn, M music good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, but uh, yeah, like I, everyone said the Made in Abyss movie was amazing. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah I had a, had a good time. Yeah, you I know, like I, I, I still haven't seen it. Honestly, it is fine. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm not gonna take your word for it. Cousin, as a man who understood half of what was being said, it was fine.
This episode of Trash Taste is sponsored by G Fuel. What we- flavor are you drinking, Gart? I am drinking starfruit flavor right now. I'm wow. drinking pink lemonade. Wow, and I'm drinking phase berry. If you want your own G Fuel, you can use code Trash Taste to get 30% off G Fuel. Thanks, G Fuel. Links in the description. Back to the episode. Can we can we talk about the real masterpiece airing the season though? <laughs> Masterpiece. Oh, and Joey, Joey knows what I'm talking about. It was really funny because oh I was, I was just about to bring it up. So. I so, so forget, forget this Attack on Titan slander yeah. or like whatever we're going to call a classic. Yeah, the real classic that's coming out this season is an anime called X Arm. So I'm a, I'm a complete noob. Now I have seen clips of it, but can you yeah. please explain to me what X Arm is and its totalness? It is. Hilarious. <laughs> it is an experience. Yeah. I will say that. So yeah. I think we have literally got the Mass Effect Andromeda releases of anime. <laughs> if you know what I mean. The cyberpunk finish. <laughs> yeah. So this is I, I didn't know anime could have bugs and glitches. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> 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 So it is a Crunchyroll original, oh, no. right? Oh, no. And you know that Crunchyroll are proud of this because I have not seen a single piece of promotional work about this at I all. I saw the trailer on YouTube yeah. and I thought it was a joke. And <laughs> the show looks worse than that. Yeah. No. It looks it looks yeah, worse it, than yeah, that. I, I, I hate to say to you, but the trailer is probably the best part about the show. Yeah, the trailer isn't a trailer. The trailer is the anime but OP. that probably makes it good, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's so bad. <laughs> oh, no, dude, no. I was crying in laughter the first it, episode. It is like, I think the third lowest anime on Mal right now. Yeah. After it one is, episode. After one episode. Yeah, but it, you're laughing, so I Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's a, that's that's what, it's a masterpiece of trash, basically. Yeah. It's, it's fucking- It's no masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it is a, it's like, it's like the first time I watched like Gazi's Wing, right? Yeah. Or like, you know, Helter Skev, and I was like, uh, Skelter yeah. Heaven. I was like, this is, I'm watching, a masterpiece, yeah. but on the opposite end of the So, so to, to explain next time, it is a Crunchyroll original anime mm. um, that is made by a completely new studio mm. by a team who's never worked in anime before. And American? No, no Japanese, Japanese team. Japanese team. Oh, but yeah. uh, they've never worked in anime before and it shows. Yeah, okay. it shows. <laughs> it shows that they've never worked in anime before. And um, it is a 3D anime that looks like it was made by a five-year-old who just learned Blender like yesterday. Oh no, oh no, um, yeah. oh God. It, it makes Ruby look like, it makes Ruby season one look like an absolute I, masterpiece. I was gonna watch it, but I just wanted to get like drunk enough. Yeah. Just to like fully enjoy it. Oh, it I makes mean, Berserk 2016 look like Akira. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, That's, it's, it's pretty bad. Like, it is. And what's worse is that like, I, I posted the clip of it on Twitter, but like there's a scene right near the beginning where the main character is 3D, yeah. but his brother is in 2D. What? (laughs) So you have this truly awful fucking CG, like blocky Minecraft character standing next to this 2D anime character. And he literally- In the same scene. In the same shot. And he literally looks, he literally looks green screened on. You know what I mean? It looks like someone just learned, it looked like someone just had learned the the chroma key. He's like to his boss like, yo, you heard of this thing called a chroma key? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) You can see it on screen right now. Oh my God. (laughs) Oh my God, that's awful. (laughs) It's like in the same scene. (laughs) You know what that is? That's like, that looks like if you told me that was uh, what's that? Uh, what's that game where everyone can have their own avatars in the game? It looks like the like oh, in se- second life, whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, it looks like if like you know how like someone has, people have their own servers and they have like two D things and they have like the three D models. That's what it looks. It's, like. You know what that looks like? That looks like someone took like a regular anime and made like an MMD edit of it. You know <laughs> I, what I mean? Can see it? I can see it. Because it is like that quality. Uh, Actually, MMD is a better MMD. MMD is a better MMD. There's some pretty damn good MMDs out there. (laughs) Don't be hating on my MMD. (laughs) And then like, if if that wasn't already bad, there was just like, some of the fight choreography is just hilarious. Like there's this one fight scene, I think like, it's like the last fight scene of the first episode where there is just no music. It's like they forgot to put in the music. (laughs) It's just like, like that, but there's no music whatsoever. So it's just, I, I was watching it and I was just like, is, is there something wrong with my headphones? Like, why, why is there no music playing? <laughs> and I remember like the, the, in, in the last part, they, they run out or something and it's literally a guy who looks like, it literally, it's li- literally looks like the characters are like being animated with a stick or something <laughs> like that. There's literally no, like they're, they're not moving their limbs or something. They're just like rocking from side to side. So are we talking that like, 
that like Queen Bee would put them to shame. Oh, I, I wish this was animated by Queen Bee. Oh, dude, man. It, it makes Queen Bee look like Studio Wit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fucking horrible, yeah. But it's also just a really fun time. Like I had a lot of fun watching the first episode. Yeah, well, it was- See what I mean? I want to get some drinks and just enjoy yeah. it, you know? Oh, we need to. It's so funny. This would be like even better if it had like kind of like a ghost stories dub. So, someone needs to dub X-Arm. Oh my like, God. Like Crunchyroll, <laughs> please don't be ashamed of X-Arm. You are sitting on a gold and duck here. Just just market it correctly and people will meme the shit hey, out of it. give us the rights to dub and we'll dub it. We'll fucking dub it. We'll fucking make an amazing dub of it. You know what I mean? Can't wait to direct those sessions. <laughs> and like the opening song as well. <laughs> just what? Is that the is... one that sounds like some some 41? Yeah, it sounds, no, like, yeah. It sounds like a it sounds like a some 41 cover band. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I heard that was the one they used for the trailer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that yeah. is just the anime opening. Yeah, Dida just sent me it. He was like, what the fuck is this? It's like and some like, 2002 what, what shit. This? Yeah, what the fuck, yeah. what is this? God oh. damn. It's, it's, like, it's like a high school band that listened to too much Green Day. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it we does, can do that. It does sound like a cover band, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my god, that why? is perfect. But yeah, uh, why is no one talking about that? I yeah, don't know. That, you you have Attack on Titan who, season four, but who gives a shit about who, that? Who greenlit that? Like, uh, no, sorry, like who who let that through? Like quality assurance. <laughs> like who let that through? What quality assurance? Yeah, you know, I'm saying like there's normally people who are like, yeah, this is good to go. Who who dead ass watched that first episode? Was like, yeah, it's good. I, I wonder though if someone at like the production team was like, I feel like we're forgetting something. QA, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> you, you know how sometimes when like people like make shows, but it's just one big like tax fraud scheme. Yeah. What if it's like, <laughs> I, I shouldn't say that. I could get in trouble actually. <laughs> I, it's definitely For not, legal I'm just reasons, joking. This is a joke. That's a joke, yeah. Yeah, that's a joke. You know, just saying. <laughs> oh my God. But like, I wonder what the people working on it think of this. You know what I mean? Cause you know, so, sometimes sometimes you, work on a project that you're they must not know. proud they about. Must you know, know. You they, know what I mean? Cause it, ugh, I, people want to get paid, can't. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, they're like, I mean, I got to just keep turning up and doing what they ask, right? That's what I imagine's happening. I don't know. <laughs> I just like to imagine that like the animes came back to the, like the producer and was like, yeah, the, the the models look great. Um, well, depends so like put some shading on it, put you know a little more animation on it. The producers like so it's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> I just I just want to know because you know in like in any like anime production or any big project production, you know you have this you have this screening night right where you um. you, you as a group as the team you get to watch the final product before it airs. I just want to hear the silence in that room when the credits roll. <laughs> And you, you just, you just, what you, what can we'll you see, say? We'll it's, the, it's not what? the silence. See, here's the thing, psych, in Japan, the, it's always silent regardless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. See, in America, yeah. this is, we are, and, and the West, we have clapping, right? I just, <laughs> I just like to think that the entire like screening room is just like silently nodding their head. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> every, everyone knows every Japanese man's just waiting for the izakaya anyway. Yeah. Like, uh, come on. <laughs> I'm just like, I just want a beer, man. They're, go. they're gonna get a free meal at the end of the screening <laughs> yeah. and free drinks, so it doesn't matter. Like they're they're turning up to the screen. I turn up to the screening if I get free meal at the end of it. <laughs> Listen, man, like as someone who's like, you know, done a documentary in an anime studio, I, I completely sympathize. Wow, wow, it's, look yeah. at that flag. <laughs> as someone, get out of here. Look, it's get hard, I get it, it's hard, but also, Come on. <laughs> it's hard, but come on, man. It's hard. You know, we're not we're not blaming the probably no, over, no. overworked staff or not whatever. Not at all. Not at all. I'm not blaming anyone for it. If anything, I'd like to thank them for giving us some like quality entertainment, honestly. <laughs> it is honestly quality entertainment. Yeah. I I watched episode two and it is also a banger. It oh, just, I, it, I still just, need to. Just coming out with Fuck bangers the next after Attack banger. episode, man. x -Arm episode two is what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Are you guys watching anything else this season or are you guys waiting to see what gets hype and what gets I talked about? I want to watch, uh, what the fuck's called Wonder Egg Priority? That is Wait. Wonder Egg Priority. Yeah, the weirdest fucking title, but I watched the trailer of it because I heard so many people, or a lot of people were asking me like, hey, have you seen the first episode of this? I was like, that doesn't even sound like a real anime. Wonder Egg, <laughs> you know, like Wonder Egg Priority. That, yeah. that, that sounds made up. Yeah. But then I checked out the trailer. I was like, actually this kind of looks fire. Yeah, it's, it's too early to tell how it's gonna go mm. because I've watched the first episode. What is it about? That is, it's it's one of those shows where I'm just like, I don't even know what it's about. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? It's it's one of those weird shows. I'll wait. I'll wait. You know, you know? I'll, I'll wait yeah. till it finishes. Yeah, that, 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 I asked people, I was like, what's it about? And people just said, just watch it. It, it feels like a just like an Ikuhara show or something like that. It does. Or like Sarah Zanmai or, some, or something. Or something or something like that. I'm, I'm just I'm just throwing out words that Connor just. Bro, you could be speaking right in now. tongues right now. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> it, it gives me like a slight like Tatami Galaxy vibe to it. You know, like kind of yeah. just like it's like so strange that it's hard to describe. Kind yeah. of vibe to it. What I what I will say it it feels like for example it feels like Madoka Magica directed by Ikuhara. Mm. Um, it's it's what the fuck are you guys talking? About? <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? So Ikuhara is the director that made Sarazanmai, Mararu uh, Penguin Drum. Mm. Um, what else has he made? What else has Ikuhara made? Mainly, what, what's that magical girl one day? It does? doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You yeah, don't. You've not matter. seen any of his works. Yeah. Right, but he makes a lot of weird stuff, and it's. I I watched the first episode, and it it's the what I will say. I can't really spoil it because I don't even understand the first episode. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's a story that it it, it presents the events of this world out of order, right? Mm. So you get. Oh my god, I'm I'm like racking my brain to it, figure out how I can describe of, it, this show. It's, it's kind of presents its story like uh like a boogie pop phantom kind of. Thing, yes, right? it's yeah. it's. It is very reminiscent of Biggie Pop fans. I just realized like, if you have no context of what you're talking about, it actually just sounds like you guys are talking about gibberish. <laughs> What's the weirdest anime you've watched, Connor? Where I don't, you just- I don't fucking know. Like, like a lot of the, when people are like, dude, you gotta watch this anime, it's so it's, cool. It's kind of like it's on like, the same vein as Serial Experiments Lane, Boogie Pop Phantom. I, yeah. I, I feel like you just haven't watched any yeah, of those types of, the, of sometimes shows. You, watch, you put those shows on, you're like, there's no way you could enjoy this without doing like four tabs of acid. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Yeah, like it, a lot of shows are like that. And then I like, mean, maybe with Serial Experiments Lane, but I, I'd argue that like something like Boogie Bot Phantom is yeah, more maybe. than I enjoyable. I don't, I, don't really, I don't really concern myself. With yeah, that. I mean, it's something where you have to be in a very specific mood to enjoy it mm. because it's not something you can just put on yeah. and just enjoy it as an entertainment as like a coherent story or something. Mm. But what I will say is out of, because for my seasonal video, I watch every, the first two episodes of like every of new anime mm. and out of everything I watched, it's the one where I watched it didn't know what was going on. Didn't fully understand it, right. but I, it stuck with me. Mm. You know, it it, it really it, it was really the one where I kept thinking about it after it had ended. After mm. I'd watched everything else, I was mm. just like, man, that was, I don't know what it is, but I keep thinking about One Direct Priority, and I don't know what it is exactly about One Direct Priority that makes me latch onto it. But there's something I feel something special. Uh, about no, I get it. that. I kind of I kind of got that same feeling the first time I watched like the first episode of like Fully Cooly, mm -hmm. right? It's like, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Like mm. this yeah. dude's forehead, little robot just came out of yeah, it. There's sometimes, like, go yeah. on a moped so, with so, the bass guitar. You I mean, I, like I can give you a play by play of what happens in Wonder Egg. So this girl, the, there's this like short hooded, like uh, she wears like a yellow hoodie girl. I don't need that um, much detail. And <laughs> the, the first scene is that a fucking cicada comes along and starts mm -hmm. talking to her and you're like, okay, whatever, cool. She can talk to cicadas. <laughs> and then she gets given an egg and then she wonders what to do with this egg. And then she's sitting on the toilet and then the toilet paper starts talking to her. And she's like, yo, what the fuck? And then the egg hatches and it turns out that it's a girl hatches out the egg. What the? <laughs> I think I'll just watch. I, think, I don't want to spoil too much, but that yeah. sounds fun. I mean, if, if it, you know, if the weeks go on and everyone's still like, yeah, it's a good show, I'll yeah. watch it. I mean, it, I, from what I can understand about the first episode, it deals with a lot of, themes of depression and suicide. Mm. And it seems like it's a, it, we get glimpses into a backstory because, mm. you know, we get glimpses into is, is this a dream world or is mm. this the imagining things or what's kind of going on? We're, we only get hints at everything. I, I feel like, again, it's it's kind of like a modern spin on Fully Cooley, right? Cause like Fully Cooley is kind of the same where it's like, it kind of used it's like absurd imagery to present deeper meanings. Yeah, it's it, like I said, it's way too early to tell what the show is going to be about and mm. how good it is. But like I said, out of everything I watch, it stuck out to me the most. Yeah, that's why I, I really want to watch that's it. That's the one I yeah. thought about the most. Mm. Um, but I don't know if you would yeah, enjoy it. What is some... the weirdest anime you've seen? I don't fucking know. I think you'd have to go through my list, but then I, I was probably <laughs> well, we did that. We did that yeah, last yeah. week or there's yeah. probably someone there that I Like, have you ever watched, watched an anime or a show and you were just like, what the fuck did I just watch? That made zero yeah. sense to me. Like kind of like, like, like not in like the vein of like, you know, this was shit kind of thing, but like just genuinely probably. the storytelling was so Kind of like weird. on the same lines as the ending of Evangelion. Yeah. Or like a, you know, like a tech on King Creed or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean the first time I watched Evangelion, I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. I was like, oh, that's how they're gonna end it. And like, you know, some people love finding the deeper meaning in that. And I'm yeah. just like, that was a bit shit. 
I'm just gonna get on with my life. <laughs> like I kind of, I just, I just really concern me. I just, I wish I cared, but I like, I don't. And then like maybe a, a video will <laughs> be my recommendation. That convenient monkey bro mode yeah. activation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I've like programmed my brain to like just make my life easier. So like yeah. when yeah. I want to just, you know, stuff like that, that might drive some people mad. I'm just like monkey forget. Monkey move on. I just find it funny how like, considering like in a previous episode, you said like how you love to challenge yourself every day. You definitely do not like to challenge yourself on anime. But like what, what is what is thinking about the end of, end of Evangelion challenging you in any way? How is that? Well, not necessarily in the Viva, but like, you know, something like, you know, like a fully coolie or like a Tekkon King Cree where it's like, there are deeper meanings behind. Wait, why, why, would, why would that where, be a where, challenge? Okay, here's the thing where you watch it once and you can't get everything you, you can't yeah, enjoy yeah, it fully like from that. just yeah, like in watching it once. Yeah. yeah. But like, why would that challenge you though? It's all in challenge as in like, it makes you think about its themings more and kind of challenges your, I guess, like perception of how you like consume it, I guess. It's hard to describe. Like it, 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 chal it challenges, it, ugh, fuck. I'm, yeah, I'm, like, right, like, <laughs> how do you explain it? It's I've, like- I've broke them. <laughs> <laughs> I like, when I watch those things where it's like the deeper meaning, everything, yeah. more often than not, like I, I, I realize that, that that's what they're doing. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then I'll just, I'll like go on Google and I'll be like, what were they trying to say? But like, don't you uh, like, cause I find like some enjoyment in kind of watching it and trying to figure it out myself. You know what I mean? Okay, no, sometimes, I, I, sometimes. I, I, I got a good way to describe okay, it. It's, okay. it's like unraveling a puzzle by mm, yourself. Mm, mm. And it's it's like playing a puzzle game, right? You're, you're given the pieces and you know, you're not told what the right answer is, but it's up to you. And it's up to you to unravel it yourself. Mm. And or or it's, it's more like, it's more like you've given a bunch of pieces and as you're playing around with the pieces, you realize that it's a puzzle that can yeah. be solved. I guess you know what I mean? this is like, I love math, right? Because. Yeah. That there is a problem and it is always very clearly defined as yeah. such, right? Okay. Yeah, it's it's not with, logical. With like, yeah, with stories and all that kind of stuff, it's, I don't like that I have to figure out what this guy was thinking about. Yeah. Like, right. cause sometimes I might get a meaning that is not even remotely close to what he was thinking or the author mm -hmm. was thinking when they were writing the thing down. Yeah. And to me, that bothers me that I can just wildly get the answer wrong and right. I'll never be corrected. But I don't that, like that. But you assume that that, there's a right answer. Yeah. Well, it's- What if you didn't know there was a right answer? Well, like, yeah, that's the, and that's the problem is that I don't like that when there's like, when it's just like an, an interpretation and it's like, you just make up what you want and then it's like, right. then what? But what I do would I argue, get out But of I would that? argue that a great story can still entertain you in that aspect, whether it is the actual correct answer or not. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't really go around, like think about it much. I guess that's the, yeah. the thing, right? <laughs> I just, I watch it and I, I like whatever thoughts I have when I finish, I'm like, right. cool, yeah. that's what I'm gonna leave with. Mm. And most of the time I don't really care to try and find the deeper meaning in it. Um, yeah. And so I think, again, I know this is like, that's such monkey brain. You can't appreciate <laughs> fine art, et cetera, et cetera. But no, like, I, I'd, no, no, I'd, I'd say that's, that's even more normal. I, yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, I just don't care. Like, I, think, <laughs> I, I think people like me who like actually like trying to find the deeper meaning, I think we're the minority. Yeah, I, th Maybe. I think I'm the minority here because yeah. I talk about, I, the reason I value this so much is because there has been time where like a piece of media has literally affected sometimes the way I think mm -hmm. or the way I view life. Mm. So because I know it can have that effect, I, you know, I try to search it out whenever yeah. I can. Like, when, whenever I find that there might be even a glimpse that there might be a deeper meaning, yeah. I love going into it. I yeah. know, I just like, I like everything to be efficient. I like everything to be <laughs> done You well. basically like everything like on methodical. a silver platter, right? No, no, not at all. I like, I like it when things are very clearly defined. The rules, like, this is why I like, I always, like I never ever did any artistic subjects in school. Right. Yeah. I don't like how it's, oh, it's all like a mess and it's totally interpretation. Yeah. I like how in math, and physics and life, the rules they, <laughs> they they make sense, and you can you can like take them in, and you can like. Oh, I mean, okay. no, I get like you know, ma I, math and physics were my favorite for too. Me, but for uh, me, it's not fun when it I'm like reading a book or something, mm -hmm. and I'm doing this, and I'm I'm just being presented with a bunch of nonsense that I'm up, I have to make sense of myself. Well, I would argue then that if it's a bunch of nonsense without an interpretation, then mm -hmm. that's just a bad story. Sometimes, you yeah. Know? I mean, sometimes you can make your own you can make your own thoughts up from whatever's being presented to you, mm -hmm. and you just kind of like. Cool. All right, nice. <laughs> I, I came up with what I think happened and then it's like, all right, well, that's what I think. Yeah, because like yeah. I would argue that like the best stories are the ones where 
you can read it like someone like you can read it where like mm. you don't have to th even think about the fact that there might possibly be a deeper meaning and it's still enjoyable and yeah. at the same time people like me that like to look for deeper meanings can yeah. also enjoy it yeah, yeah. Right? like not to get too philosophical but you know why why do we watch entertainment it's to feel things it's to, it's mm. to make it's, it's source music <laughs> 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 but like that, that's the end that's the end or be all right we, yeah. we watch entertainment to make us feel something whatever you mm. want to feel whether it's like a fucking adrenaline sometimes you just want to feel depressed or whatever you know it's and watching something like for example the ending episode of evangelion i've i remember the first time i watched it i fucking hated it because i'm just like mm. why why can i not just be given the answer why why is the answer not just you know being presented to me on like a golden platter mm. you know that's what i wanted and then as i grew older and i it, it stuck with me and i've rewatched it and i'm just like Oh, this is this is making me feel I'm, different yeah, things. Yeah. By I'm sure just in future maybe I'll change my mind on it. But right now, for me, me uh, like entertainment and media is just like I just want to relax, mm -hmm. and thinking is not relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get on with it because I'm, I'm working so goddamn much, and I just want to do the things I want to do. And to me, entertainment is purely like a gas stop on, on my destination. <laughs> it's like let's just stop for a moment and have some fun. And then I'll get no, back no, on. No, I mean, I get that too. Like, it's yeah. not like every fucking piece of no, entertainment like, I watch is like mind bending. It's, and it's, it's like, it's like I said, sometimes you just need to be in a very specific yeah, mood yeah, yeah. to enjoy this piece of media. Sometimes There's, I'm just like, you know what? Yeah. I want to feel pretentious right now. Yeah. Like I, I kind of want to like figure out if this has a deeper yeah. meaning. Yeah, it's, which it's, is why like, I, 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 when I speak to people who talk like that, that about the media they like, I'm like, you know, part of me is envious because I don't care for that. Mm. But because I think, and I think a lot of people are envious of that. Cause I think yeah. when you meet a lot of people, they'll claim that they can see the finer meaning in art and yeah. all that. And most of the time they have no fucking idea. Mm. Um, but you know, I don't know. I, I'm just completely open with the fact that I'm like, I, I, I don't care. I, I don't care to care. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, mean, I like I mean, what I like. What, what, enough, what I don't enough. understand is the other extreme where it's people who can't seem to enjoy media unless there is something deeper mm. about it. Like I, there are times when I just want to watch a fucking shitty isekai and just not have to think, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It's like the people who like think that every single piece of entertainment or media has some kind of deeper meaning under it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, no, uh, anime reviewer, non non biori has no deeper meaning. It's just a fucking slice of life. Like just, so, just chill. That just feels like privilege the problem. It's like, <laughs> My only problem is life in life is that my media that I consume doesn't yeah. have enough. It's deep meaningless. Meat. It's like it's like oh my, how privileged are you to be where that's a concern? You know what I mean? Like first world problem. That is like the <laughs> biggest first world problem where like you can't get enough fine art that excites you. You know what I mean? That's like literally like billionaire problem. Yeah. <laughs> no, what, what pisses me off even more is like you can have your own interpretation of the media, right? Mm. That, that's 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 very normal for everything. But what pisses me off is when people project their own meaning onto this piece yeah, of media I mean, like so much. Like, like I why. remember I remember with Attack on Titan when, you know, the basement thing happened and then there were articles to be like, oh yeah, this is promoting Nazism and stuff like that. It's and like, I'm just like it's, oh, no, it's not. Oh God. It gets it gets to a point where there's a difference between, you know, analyzing it and, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. interpreting it in your own way and just the it there's even when they know the right answer as well, right? It's just yeah. like, no, no, I don't care what the author said. <laughs> this is what it actually means. He just doesn't know it yet. It's like, yeah. no, I'm pretty sure if the author said that this is what it means, that's what it fucking means. Well, it's, I mean, there's plenty of cases of where like the author loses control over the work. Well, I mean, isn't that like the whole thing with Ava, right? Where like- Pepe so the frog rip. <laughs> the, the death of the author, right? Or whatever. So you boys been up to anything interesting recently? I mean, we're currently back in lockdown, aren't we? So we well, haven't not, really been able to do much. Not really. Japanese government's pretty useless. Well, I mean, yeah, but- yeah, They I, said I, emergency I, statement, restaurants please close at eight. <laughs> so you can still travel and do whatever you yeah. want, but you know- It's not an enforced lockdown in Japan. It's, it's, it's always a suggestion. Yeah, it's just, it's a suggestion in Japan. And people right? listen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, that no, was fucking crazy. I think like, uh, where was it? It was like, it was cause usually after we finish recording a podcast, we go and have dinner and stuff like that. Yeah. And I think we were at uh, like one of the restaurants nearby and they were playing like news footage and yeah, Shinjuku, Shinjuku was empty. Yes, there was yeah. a fucking shot of Shinjuku station, zero people in front of it, which is like crazy because Shinjuku station, if you guys don't know, is like literally the most busy station, I think in the world, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. At least in Japan. No, it's the world, I think. Really? I, I, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Shinjuku station, I, I die a little inside whenever <laughs> someone, whenever a friend comes to Japan and yeah. I ask where to meet and they say Shinjuku, Shinjuku station. Yeah. No, okay, meeting at Shinjuku station is impossible, yeah. but yeah. like navigating it isn't so bad. 
No, I fucking hate navigating. I, th- I think Ikebukuro is worse than navigating. No. I know. What man. do you want? Because when you try and get to like the other, like the subway lines, you like, for some reason- Shinjuku Station literally has like 30 exits. Yeah, dude. Ikebukuro has fine. maybe like 10. It's like fine, depending on which bro. exit you come out of sh- uh, sh- uh, Shinjuku, yeah. like it, it tells you to go on the other side of the station. Yeah. And you would think walking in a straight line would work. <laughs> no. You can't walk in a straight line in Shinjuku because you got to pass, depending on where you're on the station, you got to pass through like 10 different yeah, gates. At least with Ikebukuro station, I always, if, if someone's just like meet at this gate that I don't know where the fuck it is, then I'll just go out of the regular gate and I can at least walk around the station. Yeah. But if you try and do that with Shinjuku station, you're fucked. Yeah. If you ever come to Japan and you're going to meet anyone here and you're staying you and you're staying near Shinjuku never say you're going to ne- meet at Shinjuku station it is a lie yeah. okay it's saying you're going to meet at Shinjuku station is like saying you're going to meet somewhere in like Times Square just, or something yeah, like just, that yeah, it's yeah. it's a massive area yeah. and station doesn't do no, no it's not even that it's like saying like I'll meet you in New York yeah. <laughs> it's like all right cool yeah. you, just, you just pick a place outside of the station and then yeah. send them the Google. Yeah, but you could do there. that with yeah. any other station. It'd be way easy to get out of. I guess. Yeah, because I, I I remember I I, uh, I met Jeff here, Mother's Basement at Shinjuku Station. And mm. as soon as he said it, I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> gotta, gotta find, it's basically finding where's Wally with your mates. And yeah. you know, with Jeff, it's, it shouldn't be hard because he's fucking massive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, and he, I, I ask him where he is and he goes, Oh, I'm uh, near this place. I think it's. It looks like there's a big camera nearby. I'm like, cool. It's like, so, it's like eight. It's like yeah. yeah it's like so eight cool. Big so so I go to like the <gasps> nearest big camera. In yeah. so big camera is like this huge department store. Um, just that, that is yeah. just like it's like an electronic store basically. Um, so I go to the West Shinjuku big camera. Right. And then I send him the message, and I'm just like, okay, I'm outside big camera, and he goes, I don't see you, and I'm go. Fuck! <laughs> it was that at that point I knew ticks off one. I of fucked eight. up, I, and I and I and I tell him just to send me the Google Map coordinates, yeah. and he's on the other side of the fucking station. <sighs> he's at Shinjuku just West. Me on like Google Maps, it's so much easier. Or, like, or just, yeah, or so yeah. you could just literally meet at like Cause, cause, fucking one station yeah. over. Because some know? of the stations fucking lie with how to get places, yeah. and like Ikebukuro as well has like an east-west exit or something. No, dude, fucking Shinjuku is like has like seven no, they, west no, exits. Dude, you, it has an east-west exit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That doesn't no, make no, no, no. sense. It doesn't even like Shinjuku doesn't even have an east-west exit. I think Shinjuku has like an east-west exit and a new east-west exit. <laughs> That's how many exits there are in Shinjuku that they've literally run out of directions to name the exits. I miss the train stations in Wales where it's just a platform. <laughs> yeah. Right? That was it. That was the whole station. Maybe now, a vending machine if you were lucky. Now, on, honestly, like what I usually do, for, I've done this with a few people and it's actually proven to be effective is that instead of meeting in Shinjuku, you meet one station down on the Yamanote, which is Yoyogi. Because yeah. walking yeah, but, because well, walking to Yoyogi, like from Yoyogi to Shinjuku, is the exact same time that it would take to actually get out of Shinjuku station. It is because walking from one side of the station to another, depending on where you are, yeah. could take up to 15 to 20 exactly. minutes. Whereas like Yoyogi only has two exits. <laughs> Very straightforward. Nah, bro, peasants. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm doing what you love to do best, which is min maxing myself. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, if- well, what is the optimal strat then? Right, listen, yeah. right? Google has this thing now where it tells you which cart to get on. So it tells you, which train car to get on for the smoothest and quickest exit. And 95% of the time, it's spot on. Just do that. I'll say trick question though. There is no smooth exit of Shinjuku. There is. There is never a smooth exit. I have legit like, I I always have to go Shinjuku, right? And obviously I'm always using this thing. Why would you do that? Because I need to. (laughs) And I listen to what Google, my my God, Google tells me. (laughs) You know, every time and it bang on. It's like, go this exit, go up the first set of stairs you see every single time. It's basically right. You think someone who just come to, came to Japan will like yes. know we'll which know direction that. of Shinjuku yeah. and which exit there are. I don't even know which That's exit I problem, get out bro. of. I I mean, it works for me. I just listen to what the PC, the, the PC master race tells me. If the computers tell me to go somewhere, I go where the computers say. Okay, Connor's full of shit. The first time you come to Japan, don't do that. No, no, Because you that. won't know how to do Look, it. Like, Find where you want to go. When you go to the station, there'll be numbers on the floor. Just pick the number what the Google tells you to go on and then do it. Trust me. Shinjuku, you will get lost navigating the yeah. station. Yeah, you- don't don't trust the station signs because they'll be like, oh yeah, 
If you're on the platform, be like, the exit's this way. What do you mean, don't trust the station station? That's all I've got. No, because, no, no, no. because when you go to Shinjuku and you follow Google Maps, right? Google Maps says, take the west exit out of Shinjuku. Yeah. And then you go you go to, you go out your train, no, no, no. you go see the signs yeah. and there no, is, is the literally problem. every see, exit, but the exit that it says on Google Maps. <laughs> you've made right? you've made the, the mistake. You're looking at the signs, right? The signs- What, what they, is there to look at the, otherwise? The signs, all they do is deceive you. They, they make you second guess, right? Don't listen to the signs. It's so full of shit. Listen to what Google says, 100%, right? Because thing is, right? You'll be on the platform, right? And there'll be like oh eight God. sets of stairs that you can take. And yeah. there'll be an arrow that says like this way. This mm. is the way to where you want to go. And sometimes it's like the most unoptimized way to get out of the like to out of the station or go to the line that you want to go right. to. And there's a bunch of stairs and sometimes it isn't clear which stairs to get. It's a mess, right? If Google tells you to get off at a cart, go immediately to the nearest set of stairs that you see. It, I guarantee it'll work and just go out the exit that you see closest, it'll always work. Google knows. <laughs> Don't listen to the signs, they're a fucking lie. Back, Don't. <laughs> done. Try it boys, you'll see. I don't know, man. I, it's, I, I think I'll just avoid getting off of Shinjuku. I just I just feel like not going through Shinjuku yeah. is just the optimal strat. That's like saying, like, <laughs> I'm just, I wanna fly out of the country without an airport. It's like, if you're <laughs> gonna go to Japan, you're gonna be going through Shinjuku. Yeah, but like, I'd rather meet like somewhere far away from the actual station. <laughs> Get me out of this place Than to meet Shinjuku. somewhere anywhere near the station. Weak. Yeah, because Such it's just mindset. extra. It's just extra stress you're adding on to your commute. I exactly. feel no stress like if, if you let the AI do it for you. I don't know <laughs> because it. I have tried following the AI, and Google Maps isn't perfect. It's pretty good. Is this why? Is this why you hate Ikebukuro Mo more? Because uh, the yeah, AI the maps just, I have no fucking clue what happens. Because <laughs> Ikebukuro is so- So that's why you hate Ikebukuro. Ikebukuro is such a fucking mess of a station, the way it's been laid out. Like Shinjuku, I get it, it makes sense. No, it me. doesn't. No, it, but the no, thing, it I, thing I will say about Ikebukuro is that the signs make sense. Yeah. You can see the signs <laughs> in Ikebukuro. The thing I love about Ikebukuro is that when I follow a sign to an exit, it actually takes me to the fucking exit. Yeah. I don't like that. Like, because I like putting my trust in that. my own sense of direction, right? right? So if I'm in a place like Ikebukuro, I can trust that wherever I am, I can find the right way out. I just follow the signs. Yeah. I just, you know, That's follow true. the signs. I want the with, optimal, not the right way. With want... with with Shinjuku, I'm if you literally have to put your trust in an AI machine to tell you the right direction, then it is just a poorly planned system. <laughs> exactly. You <Wow>. know? <laughs> I mean, hey, it works though. I, I get where I need to get to, no problem. <laughs> We well we'll say that about a, this is such a, like I, I wonder people watching this you've never been to Japan like what the fuck is this problem like, yeah yeah <laughs> uh, if you've never been to Japan don't listen to Connor yeah. right? no, listen just to meet me. anywhere outside of Shinjuku trust listen, said, listen to the white guy in Japan. yeah yeah would you trust the white guy <laughs> listen listen to me the white guy <laughs> trust me I find life hacks where they don't exist oh yeah God. I mean with lockdown there's not so much new I can be doing so recently I had this um, had a woke up one day mm. and I was just like. I should get back into Fate Go. No, no. <laughs> I saw your tweet about that. And I was just like, no, 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 no. It's it's like watching a it's like watching a friend start a new drug. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, what? No, don't please stop. It's just seeing your mate like just relapse and just like, no, no. You I just thought we were past this. <laughs> you were ten weeks sober, man. Come on. I mean, I'm kind of the same way. Like I, uh, I, I did something f uh, that I haven't done in literal years, which is buy an Eroge. Like a Japanese era game. Ooh, okay. Like a brand new, okay. like just came out era game. <sighs> so, cause, okay, so I was in Akihabara a while back um, d doing some shopping for a video. And uh, and I was walking past like Melon Books, which is like, you know, where they sell a lot of like dojins and stuff. And yeah, out the front, okay. So basically, so out the front, they have like a bunch of signs for like new games that come out, uh -huh. right? And every now and then they'll also show some signs for like era games, right? Cause yeah. that's where they sell it. And there was one where I was just like, that actually looks really cool. Like I didn't actually know it was an error game. I thought it was like a standard JRPG or whatever. Yeah. But I was like, that actually kind of looks cool. So I looked it up, found out it's an error game by Alice Soft. And I was like, wow, Alice Soft actually just fucking like clickbaited me into thinking <laughs> that this was like a legitimate JRPG when it's just a fucking error game with JRPG elements in it. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'll bite, right? <laughs> I'll bite, it's <laughs> locked down. I can't really go out anywhere. Yeah. And I haven't fucking bought and played an era game so many years. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll do it. Played it. And uh, that's kind of all I've been doing for the past three days, really. <laughs> do you want to give context to Connor about what Alisoft has done? Yeah, I just zoned out. For like <laughs> so I don't know if there's any games like that 
uh, famous outside of Japan than Alsoft. Basically, Alsoft is like one of the oldest, I guess, like most well known in the era gay world. Mm, yeah. Um, there's like Illusion, like Alsoft, um, fucking what Leaf, uh, Leaf. Yeah. <laughs> Is it, you sure ain't naming Pokemon types? Leaf, uh, you know, Maple is another maker. <laughs> my favorite Pokemon type, Maple. Lump of Sugar is another one. There's oh like, <laughs> basically, it's like, it's it's basically just like a, an, an OG uh, Aragate developer. Yeah. And they came out with a new game that looks completely different to anything that they've done. Okay. Right. So I've played a few like Alisoft games back in my wait, day. So, wait, so what the, what the fuck do you do in an Aragate game? Explain to me. It's a visual novel with porn. It's a visual novel porn. with porn. Jack off or? <laughs> If it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Connor's like, wait, how can you get off how, how with does that words? Work? So like, if, just, if it's good, you're it's like- It's basically, you know. think of it as it's like perfectly halfway between jacking off to a dojin and jacking off to a hand. I can't imagine how the latter, uh, the former feels, so I- Basically, it's like jacking off to a dojin, but the audio from the hentai is playing. Okay. Yeah. So there's voice acting and there's sound effects. So it's it's dubbed doujins. It's dubbed doujins that can also be auto played. Yeah. And so like you, <laughs> you're playing this story game, and you might say you just beat one out, and then you just carry on. Yeah. <laughs> I I sit there for like you know thirty seconds after I'm done, and I just look at disgust at what I've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like I'm like turn that shit off. How, how do you with, like, with all the milf hentai you've been watching? Yeah. I, I am with disgusted. Yeah, I would be disgusted yeah, too. Yeah, because yeah. right after it, you are in like a heightened state of like you, you're basically like a monk for thirty seconds, where you're like yeah. I will never have sex ever. Well, again. I'm not. I don't know. So like I'm like turn the shit. So you off. get post nut regret. A hundred percent every time, <laughs> every time. And then I'm like, especially, that's well, weak will with, with, yeah, yeah. with porn. <laughs> Now, if, if I could abandon porn, I would. You know what I mean? Like no, I would. Just, yeah, I would. <laughs> if I, if you could, every ask, guy says no, no, that. Yeah. But they could, wouldn't. No, no. If you could say, Connor, you just never need to masturbate ever again. I'd be like, sure, why not? Well, let's try it. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> like, have you, know, you ever I, completed No Not November? No, I've never attempted it. Why <laughs> well, you I? should. Well, it sounds like you're you're wanting to attempt yeah, it right you'll, now. You'll you should. Because you, you'll just end up getting like a wet dream eventually, right? Like that'll happen, right? If you, no. you yeah, it will. If you leave it for, for a long month. Enough. Yeah, I, have you? When was the last time you didn't jerk off for a month? I well, never. never but yeah, that's never. because exactly. I'm exactly. But that's we because for what we but don't that's because know. I'm not yeah. going to fucking spew shit, being like I can live without porn. Like, no. no, no, no. I want. I to. want porn. No, I want to. I want to live without it. I don't want to be. I just. <laughs> I don't. <don't. laughs> this is this is the literally. I don't want to be horny. I want yeah, to be it's happy. Literally me. <laughs> like I've ever seen in real life. I hate being distracted from what I'm trying to do, and it just distracts. See, me. I look at that meme and I'm just like, I want both. Really, I want to be horny and happy. <laughs> but, so, What's so, wrong with that? So you just. You know, you just so you see this as like a distraction from your optimized yeah, life. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, my optimized lifestyle is being ruined by this. Oh my god! So I can never hear the word optimized in the, <laughs> the same, same way, way after this but fucking this, podcast. I, so you're you're playing this game, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's a game. How is it a fucking game? It's reading. It's tricking you into jacking <laughs> off. Call well, no, because games. this Alisoft one has like full on JRPG elements as well. Well, so you're like you're in the middle of a battle. And you're trying to jack off? No, 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 no. So the jet, okay. So, so, so okay. what are the JRPG elements? Okay. So think of okay. Th this is I, I hate the fact that I'm using this as an example. Think of Persona. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, here right? we go. Think okay. of Persona, where okay. like the Persona games are, in my opinion, Persona games are the perfect blend of visual novel and JRPG, where like mm, they've yeah. somehow managed to make two like elements of two completely different styles of games mm -hmm. and mix it perfectly, right? So in yeah. Persona, the JRPG elements are most often than not completely separated from the actual visual novel elements, right? In Persona? Yeah, in Persona. Whereas- What? Well, what's it's up? not a visual novel, Did is we it? just get a earthquake? I don't know if I just felt a small jig. No, it's probably this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, so in Persona, so in Persona, right? Like the you have the visual novel elements, and then you have the JRPG. Oh, it's in like in between the yeah. 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 So like you know you'd have like you go through a dungeon or whatever, and yeah. then you know once once you complete that dungeon, then it goes into the visual the novel elements. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> as you call it. I mean, I would argue that the JRPG elements are filler for you as well, but regardless, right? So you know you have like the story elements, and you have like the actual like gameplay elements, right? Yeah. Okay. Whereas in this era game, the the sex times start to happen during only the visual novel elements. 
Hmm. Okay, so, so so the the visual novel elements are the sex scenes, and the gameplay yeah. stuff breaks up yeah. that. So, so, like a, so like a yeah. standard, so like a, so like the standard era, like a standard era game that doesn't have JRPG elements. Uh -huh. yeah. It's basically just a visual novel with sex scenes put into it. Yeah, right. So it kind of interweaves with the story. It, with this one, it's just that separately, it has a JRPG portion as well. That is. Wait, what do you mean? Like you battle? Like what do you do in this? Like what? I'm confused. What do you do in this? Well, yeah. What the fuck else do you do in a JRPG? So you're just so it's a, just a dead ass a normal JRPG game where you're going around battling monsters, leveling up. Yeah. And then it cuts to like a visual novel with fucking. Yeah. <sighs> Who comes up with that? <laughs> I, like uh, this? Like, like, I'm, 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 lo I'm looking at this on like Connor's side. I can literally hear the gears like turning in his head, <laughs> and it's just not computing. It's just like wait. Why no, would, why the gears would, are not well, like, they're not, they're not coming they're together. Just, they're just stuck right yeah. now. I'm just like- <laughs> This sounds to me, right? This is the equivalent of being like, so it's a food tray that jacks you off. It's like, I don't want those two things going near each other. What are you talking about? Like it, but those two elements, the JRPG game, and yeah. then just a visual novel with porn in it, are like just two elements that just shouldn't be involved at all. Why not? Why? Why would? They, why, why wouldn't you want a well, food tray that jacks okay, you off, Okay, Joey? look, look, don't, look think of, <laughs> like you're thinking about it as if like, there's the visual novel, like storytelling part, and then there's how, a sex scene, and then immediately, and then, and then immediately there's a battle. That's not how it works. What, how does it work then? It it works as if like there's the storytelling element, the visual novel mm -hmm. element, and in the middle there is a sex scene. So it's sandwiched between the visual novel elements. Okay, so there's the visual novel elements where they're telling a fucking story, and there's porn in the middle, and then it just cuts to when it, when they're done with the talking, it just goes to a normal dead ass game. Yeah. What? Why? Does this sound good to you? Am I insane? This sounds awful. It sounds great. No, it doesn't. <laughs> You're just playing oh, devil's man. advocate. No, this no, no, I'm okay. terrible. Okay, I've, I mean, I've, I, I say this as someone who has also played arrow gaze before. This is and there's there's something there's something about like hentai games and arrow gaze where the sex scenes feel like there's there's something different about feeling like you've earned the sex scene. <laughs> oh fuck. Right. Oh. 100% <laughs> you agree. You know what I mean? 100% agree. It is what? it is like you could have the most mediocre sex scene, yeah. but you feel like you've earned that sex scene. And it's scene. even more so in this game because like you can unlock certain sex scenes depending on what you do in the JRPG. You element. like a person who watches a hentai. I don't want I don't want an Xbox achievement. I want a hentai achievement. I you know what I mean? A person <laughs> who watches a hentai and skips straight to 15 or 20 minutes do will that. not know what no. we're talking no, I about. I prefer the story in hentai, but I don't want to sit there and read a fucking book and then jack off into the book and then wipe the cum off my hand and go around my RPG world leveling up my character, right? I don't want to fucking deal with it. Oh no, like, look, don't get me wrong. Like, this understatement, like, this, this is not the type of game for anybody. This, yeah. <laughs> this, isn't, this, isn't, this isn't like <laughs> shit. I completely understand that the stuff I like in hindsight, is pretty shit. Yeah, this is like, you know when they say like, don't eat where you shit, right? This is like yeah. eating the shit that you sleep in. Like, this is like, <laughs> this is so fucked. Like, this shouldn't be a combination of things. Like, only Japan w would make something like this because this is so stupidly like, like this shouldn't exist. Well, that's Just, not true. Like, look at Honey Pop. Yeah. Honey Pop. That was, yeah, honey that was made by a, Americans. Yeah, I don't yeah. fucking like Honey Pop either. You don't like Honey Pop? I enjoy Honey Pop. Oh my God. Honey Pop because it's literally game. what I just because, described, because, but okay. made by Americans. Because like I, for example- Wasn't that like Bejeweled or some shit? Wasn't that game? Like it was one of those fucking- Yeah, was it was like, it's like a puzzle game. Yeah, it's a puzzle game. But I don't want a the, puzzle game that I jack off to. But then no, no, because the thing is, <laughs> the thing is- <laughs> It's like jacking off to a jigsaw puzzle, being like, oh, oh it's making porn. <laughs> the pieces are making a porn out. Yeah, you because, earned it. Because <laughs> the, thing is, the thing is, right? You, you have this gameplay loop, right? You have this gameplay loop, but unlike you, I need a reward for playing this game. <laughs> right? I need a reward for playing this gameplay. Unlike you, I you, don't jack off to Xbox achievements. Most of okay? the time- I don't jack off to Xbox achievements either. I don't most, care about Most them. of the time, it has to be story. Most of the time, that's yeah. that's why I play games. If, if I have a gameplay loop, you can have the best fucking gameplay loop of all time. If there's no motivation for me to play it, then I'm just gonna not play that's it. That's why gonna, I don't give I'm a shit about most games that don't have a story. Cause yeah. it's like, what's the what am, why am I playing this? Yeah, There's there are so many games that I agree have Again, great I, gameplay. I, I, I can totally agree with that. But why is there porn in it? Because that's the reward you get for playing the game. Because I'm sorry if I'm feeling a little horny sometimes. Like I, for just, I just can't imagine holding the Xbox controller and then just, <laughs> all right, 
put it down, uh-huh. get the tissue box out. Like what? This like, is insane. For example, like a, a game like for Levels example, of degeneracy should not be reached. <laughs> <laughs> like for example, a game like Dead Cells, which yeah. I heard, which I which I played, and I was I played it for what like, five minutes, and I thought this was a really good game, and then I got bored for five minutes because I was like, why am I playing this game? There's no motivation for me to actually mm. play through the levels. It's a nice gameplay loop. Same with something like Celeste. Celeste's an amazing game. Celeste is an amazing yeah. game. I went through one level when I got bored because I really I couldn't care about the story. Yeah, the so there was, there was, there was the like- there was play, man. It's so good, it's so addictive. <laughs> but that's the thing. If it had a reward for me to complete the level, mm. then I would have played through it. Yeah. <laughs> there, need, there needs to be some kind of reward. So what Garn is saying is that the Celeste would have been- and well, Celeste would have been better if there was a sex scene dude, at the dude, end of fuck. each level. If, if, if every time- <laughs> <laughs> if every time, like, if every time I completed a level Celeste, there was a hentai scene or something like <laughs> you that. Just want, you literally just want, like, Gaunt wants to, to have, like, a beta level and then the Pornhub music starts playing. <laughs> like, that's what Gaunt wants. Yes. <laughs> What's wrong? Dude, that's, I want that. Dude, I think imagine, you guys are too comfortable dude, imagine, with jacking Imagine off. an Eroge with the, something on the gameplay level of Dead Cells or Celeste or something along those lines. Oh, masterpiece. <laughs> My God. Masterpiece. I'm just imagining that right now. Dude. That would be a, that would be a masterpiece. That would be fucking amazing because like, you know, every time you finish a level of Celeste, you, you have such like, fuck yes, like moments, right? It's like, yeah. yes, I, I went through yeah. that. I died hundreds and hundreds of times. Yeah. And now here is my reward. <laughs> Hell yeah. That is going to be the best jack off you'll ever have. Yeah. To, to, uh, I'm not saying make Celeste porn. I'm no, just no, saying no. like, that, that's what I'm saying. It's just an example. We're, we're, just we're an example. Talk, we don't want to loot the fucking characters. No, 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 no. That's not what we're talking about. No, we're talking no. about if we had a gameplay loop of something like Celeste or something on that level, and then we had we had it hentai to it. <laughs> My God, that is improving you, upon perfection. You people, how have no, how has no one guys, crowdfund this shit right I'm making now? It. I'm you, making please. that. I am making Kickstart that. Kickstart this shit. I am going to give fund me some it money right now. Give me some money. I will make it happen. It's fucking animals like you are the reason why <laughs> we have fucking like Minecraft sex scenes like. This is the problem. You guys who want to put fucking porn in everything. Have you seen the Minecraft porn on YouTube? It's some fucking it, awful. Some of it's kind of hot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, Joey like finishes a level in, it's not even levels in Minecraft. Yeah. Joey finishes getting some diamonds in Minecraft, just swaps over to the next tab and starts playing Minecraft. Oh, dude, do you know how hard it bangs. is to get diamonds in Minecraft? That's like a great achievement. Oh my God, <laughs> man. This is, it's unbearable. I can, I can <laughs> say that publicly because I know I'm not the only one who genuinely thinks that. <laughs> the fact that Minecraft porn even fucking exists means that I am not- Are you saying th- you like Minecraft porn? No, I'm not. <laughs> that all sounded I'm like saying, you didn't have a problem with it. No, all, all, oh. I mean, I don't care. What, this is, it's like a kid's game though. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, this, this podcast has been a weird one. I've- I just think it's <laughs> sad, right? That there are kids out there who legitimately like are curious about porn. Mm. And the first thing they think is my two loves. Steve and Minecraft. I would like to see if they did that to him. Cause it's only kids watching these things, right? Cause no True. adult can jack off to Steve, Steve blocks fucking something, you know? I mean, no, Joey, come on, come no, on. No, I'm not saying I am, but uh, no. I think I think you underestimate some like adults willpower. I, I've, okay, I, I have. What, I, I, have okay. you jacked off to Minecraft? No, no, I've. This is the first I've ever heard of Minecraft porn. If really? I'm being honest, you've never seen it. I've never seen there it. De- Describe like, it to me, please. Oh wow! I mean, you, I, uh, we just kind of have to show you. This really? No, 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 no. Like, this, 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 you this, need to describe it to me. This must have then, been like four or five years ago. I can't yeah, remember which YouTuber yeah. made the video about it, but there was actually like so much like full on traditional pornos like we, made in Minecraft. When when yeah. when you first mentioned it, I thought, okay, we're just being sarcastic. No, right? no, no, okay, this is a meme, right? You know, there's like. Uh, what's his name? Captain Sparkles, right? The one that's like Minecraft animations. Yeah. Basically imagine that, but it would literally be like a, a porno porn. situation where it was like, someone would be like, oh it's, no. It's like a high someone... quality, like Minecraft MMD. No, you're, 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 you're shitting. No, 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 no. I swear, no, 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 I, swear no, no, no. I saw one that was like, Steve like say, rams a creeper. Say psych, please no, say psych. No, 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 no. <laughs> like Steve like fucks a creeper or something or something yeah, like Yeah, yeah, and the creeper has like tits, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah something like that. <laughs> This is legit. This is actually- we'll, the, We will show you This is the problem. afterwards. If you, if you don't hold back, right? If you let your creative juices run wild on projects like Joey wants to do with all of this shit, this yeah. is what happens. And we don't need this. We oh don't God. need this. I, I, we I, don't need this. I don't know. No, we don't. No, don't get me wrong. We I, don't need it. No, but but that's the thing, right? 
People want it. No, no, no. It doesn't matter what people want. People I, don't deserve what they want. I don't know <laughs> if it's worth, uh, I don't know if it's worse what I just imagined in my mind from you describing it or actually watching the actual thing. We'll, 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 show, you we'll show you afterwards oh. and we'll, I don't know, maybe Juzum can add a clip of like Gart reacting to it. When we're done with the episode, we'll leave the cameras rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, it's awful. this is a shit post, right? This and it's, it's literally like, it, it can only be kids watching it, yeah. right? It's Which so is, disturbing yeah. that it's just funny. Well, I mean, it's funny to us, but yeah. I mean, obviously I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure the mum like, the, the yeah. walked in on the kid watching it is probably very yeah. confusing. Have, have we reached that age? Is this what our parents felt when they walked in and saw us like jacking it off to anime titties? I'm is sure. This, is this how, is this how they felt now? I mean, I'll never forget the look my parents gave me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? you've never had like your parents like walking on you jacking off? No. I've hit it very well if they have. Really? Yeah, again, I remember there was, my stairs would creak. I had a warning. Oh yeah, that's there. right. Yeah, yeah. Well, so your parents walked in on you with- my, my dad walked in on me once. How big was the screen of like this? Oh no, it was tiny. The men jacking off on like a Game Boy S. No, 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 no. Like, it, was, it was on like, you know, like my old like shitty fucking desktop computer with like, I think it was like a 16 inch or whatever. Yeah. I had a black and white TV. Oh really? Yeah, it was like you a, had hand, a black and white. It was TV? like a hand me down, and it, it yeah. could like it couldn't play like via, yeah, it was fucking awful. So I couldn't couldn't put porn on that. <laughs> All right, well I can't believe I'm about to tell this story. <laughs> Here but, we go. Oh uh, God, I don't even remember how old I was. This is fucking easy. It was it was. I remember. I don't remember exactly how old it was, but it was yeah. around you know that age yeah. as a teenager when you first discover porn, right? Yeah. Like you know anywhere between like I don't know thirteen to fifteen, something like that. Mm. Maybe even earlier for some people, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> I remember what it was too. I think it was legitimately the first time I watched like a hentai on my computer. Right. And you went straight to hentai, you didn't even watch like normal <laughs> no, 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 this was like, this was like not long after I discovered porn. <laughs> right, like right, right. He quickly got down that yeah. rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, like that that first time I hid, but, <laughs> but the first time with hentai was a different story. And I was in my room and like, my room has like a, had a lock on it. Right. right? So Very I close. thought, I'd locked the door. <laughs> oh, oh no. I thought, and I, I remember it. I remember it's what witch hand I was. It was a Kanojo, Kanojo, Kanojo. Oh, classic. classic, classic, right? Classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's like next to Bible Black. It's like yeah, a classic, yeah. right? And, uh, and yeah, so I was like, oh, uh, something has a rosin in me. <laughs> 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 Something has a rosin in me. Something has a rosin in me. Right. My my little Joey has has is woke now. Right. So I was like, let's give it a go. <laughs> and so I did it. And then uh, I hear like a, a clack of yeah. the door opening. And I look around and it's my dad standing there. He's pretty, he's pretty proud uh, of you though. No, no. Oh, well, he looked at me and he looked at what was on my screen. And he looked at me again. And he just said, really mate? <laughs> <laughs> Your dad seems like the most Australian man alive. He just I remember exactly what he said. He's like, really, mate? Couldn't have been regular porn. <laughs> He's like, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't even be disappointed with you, it was just regular porn. And I was like, uh, I mean, I've I've been past that point. I was kind of experimenting. He's like, all right, whatever. Like, I don't know what I don't know what Dad, I, I, I have already gotten bored of regular porn. Yeah. I have, I'm seeking new adventures. I could I could legitimately see the very moment where the disappointment came. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's like it's like a certain look in my dad's yeah, eyes where it, it kind of went from like, "Whoa, what are you doing?" to Oh. Oh no, he's into that he's shit. He's into that shit, huh? Oh. Yes, father, I am into that shit. Are you winning, son? No. no. Look at him you're, you're that was the day I took an L. That was the day I took an L. And now he wastes his days fucking <laughs> And now I games. talk about it for a job, so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're proud of me, dad. <laughs> <laughs> that felt so desperate. Like, dad, dad, please. <laughs> please love me. <laughs> please say I'm psych. winning now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm finally winning, dad. <laughs> It's just that that moment is carved into you, and you're, yeah. you're like you're like the son who just looks for your dad's approval. I don't, yeah, I don't have a I don't have a lot of like distinct memories during my childhood, but that was definitely one that will like forever stick with me. Like I, it it it's kind of just implanted itself into the back of my brain. Yeah. Now I don't know. I've I've never been caught jacking off at all because to me it's like. If, if, if I do this, a checklist happens. You sneak know? 100 for me, yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's the same way- I didn't build my sneak, unfortunately. <laughs> it's, it's the same when, you know, you leave the house and you have your, okay, pat, keys, wallet, phone. Mm. Same thing, same thing when, when you do the, same thing, same thing, you know. <laughs> you, you, 
you do you do the deed and you're just like, okay, door locked, yeah. headphones on or whatever, yeah. make sure nobody's in the house or nobody can hear, yeah. and then you start. See, with the lock on my door, I got a little too overconfident. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yeah, this is this, this foolproof, isn't it? And then I just, I guess I just forgot. You know what it felt like? It felt like, you know, when you're playing Pokemon and you like go into a cave and you put repel on and it runs out <laughs> just before you're about to leave the cave <laughs> and you get into an encounter. That's what you it felt like. Up. You fucked up. I yeah. was like, shit, I was that close. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, like I've like, I, I thought getting walked in on, right? Yeah. Is like a common thing. Cause you see it so much on the internet, yeah, right? It's it like, does. I, I got walked in, like, what people. do I do? Like, you know, that kind of stuff. So have you ever walked in on anyone or been walked in on? Oh my God, maybe I have, I don't know. I feel like these are like buried memories. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's probably yeah. a good chance I've probably walked in on something. Like, I don't know, been to parties and seen shit, but like people just don't care. That, that doesn't count. Yeah, that doesn't count. They're just like, Hi. I mean, in like a private time, you no, know? Yeah. I know. I don't think I have actually, mm. no. Yeah, I, I, th I think I've never walked in on someone, but the closest I've come is, it was in university and I was uh, visiting a mate mm. and it was like a group house. So uh, like two or three of my mates were there and we were getting ready for, for the night out. So I was just like saying hello to everyone. And then um, I knock on this, I knock on one of my mates door and I, you know that panic scramble that you can hear. So his door <laughs> was locked, right? But I, I knock on the door. And all I heard was. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what I was doing as well, honestly. <laughs> That's all I heard, right? And then he opens the door and the laptop, which is opposite like where the door is, yeah. is conveniently closed. <laughs> so I'm just like, what were you just doing? And he was like, nothing. I was just uh, nice. just working on my presentation, you know? Yeah, I bet you were. <laughs> yeah, I bet you were. I bet you were. But uh, yeah, I've never actually walked in on anyone, but I feel like it's more common in America mm. because in university there, if you share a room, mm. uh, that's this is why I can't imagine. That's weird to me. This yeah. is why I can't imagine having a roommate. Right. Because how do you, how do you schedule that? Do you, do you, anyone in America, can you answer me? Do you, do you actually have to schedule your sessions because- Like, do you have to be like, where are you going? Yeah. How long will you be out? Is this just an urban what legend? What time are you coming back? Is this like an urban legend where, do you, do you tell each other where- <laughs> Do you like, do you, do, you, do you like have like a calendar where you schedule? Okay guys, okay. I'm so, clocking in boys. So I'm clocking in, this, this time is my time. There's gonna be a sock on the door. That's how you know. And if the sock is on the door, then it is like code red. Don't come in. Never disturb me during my fat time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess like what I wanna ask you guys is like, I mean, we none of us have children, right? Yeah. But like hypothetically, right? <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Why'd you say it like, right? Right, right, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Not that we're well. Yeah, but like hypothetically, right? Like if you ever like get a kid, for example, and you become the role of the parent yeah. and you walked in on your kid doing that. Yeah. Like, how would you guys react? Like, what would you say? Join it, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is not, it's not so, it's not really to have a conversation there. You're like, sit down, son. It's like, whoa, right. well, my dick's But I'm sure that. some parents yeah. have, right? It's like, oh my God, I don't know. Like what is even, like as a parent, what's the correct answer? Uh, I probably tell them not to do it. Really? Because really? they're, they're gonna do it anyway. But you don't want to encourage them and be like, watch as much porn as you want, son. I feel like my dad said that. <laughs> what? Something similar. He's just like, because like I, I specifically remember- you can, get, you can get addicted to porn. Right, right, yeah. right. But I specifically remember my dad wasn't so much like disappointed in the yeah. fact that I was like jacking off at yeah. all. Cause like- It was the hentai. It was the hentai. It was the hentai. <laughs> it was the hentai. He was like, I don't care that you're jacking God, off. Like that's fucking, really? like if you have a penis and you're an adult, that's fucking normal, right? Yeah. So yeah. whatever, you were eventually gonna get to this point. It could have been anything else that you were jacking off to. I'd probably just, you know, walk out. And then the next time I see like my child, I'd probably it. just be like, we can just forget about it. I mean, right, and right. then, because that, I, I feel like the we more you talk it, about so. it, yeah. the yeah. more the more you put light on it, the worse that they're gonna feel. Just yeah. just make it, so as, make it as casual as possible exactly. to be like, I feel, so, I feel so many parents, you know, end up doing like the sit down son, let's have a talk. <laughs> I feel that's the worst answer. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Cause yeah. like, I, I feel like there's nothing more. I mean, I never got the talk from my parents, yeah. but I feel if I ever was in that position, I'd be like, fuck, I wanna Did leave. you ever ask your parents where babies came from? Probably, right. They probably just gave me some bullshit answer. Yeah, like, I don't like know. They, I, I still Does any kid remember? I still remember the bullshit answer my mom really? gave me. <laughs> yes. So I thought yeah. that what she, literally what she said was babies came out of the belly button, right? <laughs> and that's graphic. thinking about this as an adult, I think I'm that's permanently scarred me because when I see a belly button now, because as a kid, as a kid, I, I, I had this disgusting thought of, 
Oh, fucking babies crawl out of there. And now as a fully grown adult, I still see belly buttons. I'm just like, Ugh. All I all I can oh, think God. of is that fucking scene in Ace Ventura, you know, when he's coming out of the fucking like rhino. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can imagine. It's like some alien shit. Like looking back, I'd rather my mum had just tell me graphically where babies yeah. came from, well, as as opposed to just tell me, yeah, they crawl out of the belly button. Cause I remember, so gross. I remember the first time, like there's, there's two moments that have scarred me for life. One was that. And the second time was the first time I saw the matrix. Where, the matrix? Yeah, the matrix. What scene? Uh, there's a scene where, have, have you guys seen The Matrix? Yeah, yeah but yeah. I can't imagine a scene. Like, okay, so there's a wait, scene. I think I know which one there's you're a on scene about. That where, me up as well. Yeah, that, there's a scene where the agents pin Neo down and then uh, like a spidery shrimp like emerges oh, and then it crawls, yeah. it, it crawls up his belly button. Yeah, I saw yeah. that when I was a like Yeah, me. and that, Fucked me up so badly because I'm just like it. Okay, I it reinforced to me, it, it reinforced yeah. that it was possible for things to go in or out of the belly button. So I'm just like, protect this at all costs. I'm <laughs> like, it. yeah, I, it, I, is I, my, I, it is my vital point. Yeah, I thought it was like some you know alien burst out shit where yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Ah, you know, I I, I, I I had a similar thing with I, the, with uh, the mummy. You know when like the beetle is yeah, like crawling under oh, the skin. Oh my god, that was the first time I like physically was like. I'm scared. I feel like, yeah, that Matrix scene had blocked out my mind. Yeah. Like, Cause yeah. I remember being, I remember watching that like a 10 year old and being disgusted. Yeah. <laughs> God, it was awful. <laughs> I, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's a tangent, right? From Paul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. I don't know if I my, if my kid do it. Yeah, I'd probably be like, well, did you do it efficiently? <laughs> I'm kidding, yeah. Did you mean Max and son? <laughs> How much time did you spend? Was that 30 minutes you're in there for? That's way too long. Uh, you cannot get in the habit of doing that, son. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Cause like when you see the like people talking about like, I legit would worry if my kid got like addicted to porn. Oh Cause yeah. Cause like you hear about the adults who get addicted to porn. Mm, like Terry yeah. Crews was addicted to porn, right? Was he? Yeah, he was addicted to porn, I think. Um, and there was, do you remember that guy? I sent you a link. So I, I was on YouTube and there was just a video and it was something called like coming clean or something. Mm. Remember it? And it was just yeah. this guy who was just like, no one, had, no one had exposed him on YouTube. No one had said mm. anything. He just came out with it. He was just like, I'm addicted to porn guys. I'm going broke because he's like, oh, he had a few million. And he was just like, I've, oh, I spent all yeah. my money. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah, it, yeah, it was yeah. that guy who was in like a happy relationship. Yeah, he was, he was married, married, wasn't yeah. he? Happily married. Like, and he, he, was like, was, he wasn't like, uh, it was like a buff. Really good looking dude. Good looking yeah, really dude. I, yeah, I, yeah, I remember yeah. that. I remember and he that. was just like, yeah. So like, I'm just like horribly addicted to porn. I and, spent and all my he money just, on cam girls. Yeah, he just spent all his money on Chatterbait. Right? Yeah, yeah. And right. I just felt so bad for the dude. And yeah. it's like, you know, had this like come out any other way, people probably would have mocked him, but he, he yeah. you know, he spoke about it himself and you kind of felt like really bad for the dude. Mm, Cause you're yeah. like, I can't, I, I can't sympathize per se. Cause I would not sympathize. I, I can't, ex you know, experience that myself. But like, I was like, fuck dude, I would never want that on like my kid or something. Oh yeah. To no. be like cripplingly addicted to like, virtual video porn, right? Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah. I feel so bad about that. I think it especially hurts considering the fact that like he's going broke because of it. Yeah, yeah man. As well, and, like, like and luckily the guy like, Shit, like the, the video is really good. I, I recommend watching it. Mm, like yeah. just to like, I don't know. And, and his wife was like understanding of it and they, she helped like walk him through it. I just thought it was really fucking sweet. And I mm. hope the guy's doing better now. I've, I, I have no idea. I didn't watch any of the videos, but mm. like, like how, how do you even get to a point when you right. realize- It's scary. Like what, 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 is, what is the line where you what realize- What is a porn addiction? What, what, mm. what, is, what is a porn addiction? You know, it's, is it- Sid how? snap. I'm sure she's going to kill me for that joke. Is but, it, yeah, it's like, is it to the point where it's like, you're spending so much money that it's like putting a dent on see, your I've income? I've never spent or... money on porn. Yeah, ever. Me, well, no, I, mean, like, I, I mean, aside from- Oh like, yeah, you fuck off, yeah. I mean, I just Arrogate. recently bought Arrogate. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I, I can hand on heart say I've never spent any money on porn. Mm. I feel like that is like a big line to cross right. where you're mm -hmm. comfortable getting your credit card out. Mm. Yeah. To, to put in, right? That's yeah. like just a line I don't want to cross. Yeah. And I'd be really fucking sad in my son or my daughter <laughs> if I, they were like, yeah, I've got a premium Brazzers subscription. I'm like, why? Why? Yeah, I don't know what it, like to me, spending money on like Kentai games or something, I, I completely understandable. No. Yeah. As soon as you spend money on like, I guess real life porn, for some reason that just flips a switch me to be like, how, why? I think it's because they're like, unlike Aerogaze and like Hentai, and stuff like that. There are mm -hmm. so many options to get the same that's, experience that's, for free. That's it, right? Because I've, I'm, I'm guessing none of us have ever actually bought a hentai DVD or a hentai. No. Oh, ah, well, I did. Really? I did. I oh, did oh, oh, okay, I bought, okay. I bought uh, the classic. I bought Mother Knows Breast. <laughs> 
Did you actually? I actually, actually? bought it. Yeah, I bought a physical copy. Because <laughs> after I was, the podcast. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, it hasn't arrived yet. Oh, but right, I bought right. it because I was like, I noticed that the licensor who's selling it. Uh, they eventually delist their older ones. And I thought, well, I gotta get a copy of Mother Knows Breast just in case it goes Yeah, extinct. but that, that doesn't count. Cause you've already seen I'm it. I'm not gonna jack off to it. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna be pristine you, condition. Yeah, yeah, you bought that this, as a this, meme, this right? Is no, the no, shit. I bought it to, <clears throat> to preserve. This is this is the shit you're gonna frame and you're gonna, yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna show your kids and yeah. be like, kids. It cost me $50. <laughs> yeah. But, but like, that's understandable, right? Like no one's gonna yeah. fucking frame their Brazzers subscription on a wall, right? Yeah. Out there. It's like when you I mean, hear there, about- I mean, like, there uh, are people out there, but- Cause it's like, uh, you know, you hear about those, you know, they'd be like po politician scandals and they'd be like, he spent $40,000 on porn. I'm like, I don't even know how you would do that. How do you start to spend that much money on porn? I just don't, I don't even know how you go about that. How would you, like, what just, I wanna know is how would you not have enough sources of porn that you need to spend money on I porn? think a lot of people want like specific porn. Right. Like, I think again, like this is where a lot of like independent creators come no, in. No, no, right? that's that's totally the reason why right. OnlyFans is a thing because I, I feel but like- But I would you never know, pay $20 for, for something I'm gonna jack off to. Right, I, right. I just refuse. Yeah, I mean like for me- I refuse. For me, like I can, I can understand why people would want to support independent creators. Like for example, totally. OnlyFans or something because mm -hmm. you know, you there there is that parasocial relationship in yeah. there. And yeah. I can totally understand why people would want to spend money on that. Um, I don't understand like, Brazzers subscriptions or just right. like- Where there like, is no parasocial. Yeah, no, where right? there, there yeah. is no parasocial but, uh, but relationship where- I would almost argue that OnlyFans and all those parasocial relationships are way worse off than getting a Brazzers I subscription. I totally agree with you I, actually. Dude, it, I've, it, I, is, I legit, it is a dangerous line. I don't even like dislike anything about it. I just feel sad when I look at it all. Like I just yeah. feel yeah. sorry for everyone. Like, I mean, other than the creators are making bank, right? Good yeah. for them, like totally yeah. understandable. The grind, you do what you gotta do. Yeah. But like, when you look at some of these guys and you see what some of them say online, like you just feel sad for them. Yeah. yeah. Like, just like and that they like feel this, like they need this. This isn't to demerit any like no, no. adult workers or no, anything I, like that. With this I think is a lot of the stuff they make is fucking awesome and a lot yeah. of them put a lot mm. of work into exactly. it. But yeah. like, I just feel it's It's, it's, so, a, da it's, 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 it's a dangerous sad. line that, I don't want to cross. I yeah. don't want to go into that because if you st if you pay for one, I feel like you'll do it again. Like yeah. I'll, I'll probably buy another one. You know, and no, it, that was a really good one. I'll and buy it's, and it's one. dangerous for the creator as well because then you get you know some of these supporters who get a little too comfortable with it right. and try and start crossing the I line. Can't, I can't imagine. You I know? can't imagine what they have to deal with on the daily. Right. And they like, get huge fucking huge respect to them. Every type of like creepy dude, you know, thinking that just because they paid like a grandiose amount of money to this creator that yeah. suddenly they're like best friends. You know, yeah. yeah I, when I, that's just not how it I works. I follow a few of them on Twitter. <laughs> it's probably going to see like, oh god, Connor, what do you see? <laughs> but like, just seeing what they get up to is like. It, I mean, it's sad some of the shit they got to deal with. Mm, just yeah. to like, you got to like fight just to, to take, to have people take you seriously. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, because the thing is, <clears throat> I, I would like to think that everyone's end goal for watching porn is like, you know, an offset for being able to go into like a happy relationship where you right. just feel mm. satisfied and mm. um, and like happy with Abandoned your life. Porn, you know, <laughs> you, 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 you stop wanting to be horny and you just be happy. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Abandon horny, be happy. Yeah. And I feel like if you go out and pay for porn, you're crossing a dangerous line where- Of no return, right? Not, not that you can't return from it, but mm. you're, you're getting comfortable. It may you know? not be dangerous. I just perceive it to myself. Yeah, that's that, that. I mean, that this is this is. It with, sounds dangerous. Ev everyone has everyone has a different line. This is my line as well. Where yeah. if, if I go out and cross this line, it's a line that I'm not comfortable with myself yeah. being about. And you know, some people are comfortable, and I'm sure there's healthy people out there who you know have. I'm sure again, only it's, fans it's, it's the thing with the stuff. addiction thing, right? Like it's like 95 percent of people are totally capable of self-regulating mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. not over-consuming things. Yeah. But there's just a good amount of people out there where they find that one thing that just yeah. like breaks them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they just can't stop. Yeah. Like it's just what it is. Yeah, and it's just, we go back to the point of how do you recognize what, what point is too far? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it when your life is being actively ruined or when you just can't find a happy relationship, yeah. you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. which is like, again, why like going back to that video, like massive props to the dude for being able to like stop himself and be like, you know what? This is getting out of hand. Like, like, realizing that it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. you know, honestly, like I, I, to me, I was just amazed that he was willing to talk about that publicly. And you know, to me, I was like, damn, that's like, that's like pretty fucking big balls to come out and be like, listen guys, I'm addicted to porn, knowing that people are gonna meme you. Yeah. But in, in reality, you know, there's probably a lot of people going through that. And I have mm -hmm. massive respect for the guy for coming out. And I think it. I remember as well, like from what I saw, hardly anyone all, was all memeing the, it. All the comments were really positive. Yeah, yeah. Well, because it's it's again, like when, when the stuff is sensitive, people don't want to talk about it because they meme it. But mm. 
it's really important to have people come out and be like, listen, this is a real thing. And yeah, like, it's yeah. fucking me over. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's the exact same thing with, for example, gacha addiction, you know? Yeah, yeah. We, we can meme the fuck out of it, but if someone has an issue, some you should take it seriously and you mm. shouldn't just think that people are gonna mock you and meme the fuck out of you. And Some it, people and, will. An addiction to anything is yeah. never good. Some people will, but the good people out there will actually understand that, you know, you can have an embarrassing problem sometimes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell when you've gone too far. Yeah, like Joey plays arrow games, you know? Like, I, I feel sorry for him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he I mean, he has you, no play, you play leagues. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm clean, I'm clean, by the way. I haven't played that. I I'd argue a, it's like duality of man, right? I haven't, I haven't played a ranked game on my account in like four, four, five months. Oh, good for you, dude. <laughs> on my NA account though, I've helped out. So <laughs> okay, okay, got it. But I'm clean. I'll tell you, he was also clean. Oh All our patrons wow. right here. The then, most amazing segue in the history of this show. I, I, I would like to say a shout out to this particular patron for being wonderful. Look at him go. Yes. Why this one? Why, why, why that ones? one? Uh, because why not? Right, why not? Wow. By favoritism. the way, what flavor of G Fuel are you guys drinking? I'm drinking well, the- I finished it because it was just so delicious, but I had the uh, pink lemonade. Ooh, it's actually really, really ooh, good. I the Faceberry. Faceberry? Faceberry. What are you drinking, Gon? I am drinking the PewDiePie flavor. You're That's drinking cute. PewDiePie juice? Wow, yes, wow. I am. Jealous. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is probably one of the weirdest segments. That, like we just had so many varying topics. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hope hey, you guys had fun. Hey, we actually talked about anime for once yeah. for like the majority of this podcast. Of course, that it was true. two weeks in a row. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. I'm but not talking about anime for four months now. <laughs> I'm done. But if you guys like to follow us over on Twitter, we also have a subreddit, post us your memes there and also listen to us on Spotify if you hate our faces. Hopefully once this episode aired, we would have reached 100,000 members in our Reddit, which That's crazy. would be absolutely awesome. What are you doing? Go and join the Reddit room. Yeah. <laughs> Stop wasting your time. Yeah. Do, do you know how much memes. meme potential there was in this episode alone? I will oh, review God. your memes eventually. <laughs> Again, meme review, let's go. Meme but review. anyway, I've been Gig Up with the boys. This has been Trash Taste and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye bye. -bye. So bonus scene, they're about to show me Minecraft porn. Obviously we can't show Top. this on YouTube, but you can show my reaction. So, I don't know. Oh, I'm on like X videos. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, that one, that one I think. Yeah, like I if mean, it's Minecraft one. porn on YouTube, does that is that really yeah, porn? <laughs> Oh my God, that's vile. This I haven't seen that one. Yeah, this is the one I saw that where I was just like, okay, this has gone too far. All right, play. you go play that. I've got the audio. Uh, can you, audio. Can you hold it so that I can watch as yeah, well? Yeah. I want to see what you're watching. Okay. Can we, can, do, do I have to make sure it's like muted? No, no, it'll be fine. It's muted, don't worry. It won't come up in the microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is the one I saw. This is the one I saw. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Right, it's like, a, it's like an MMD, right? Wow, what an, the- an Enderman there watching. Yeah. Oh, is he gonna start? Oh. Is he gonna get Whoa. What? <laughs> what? Why does it look like that? <laughs> oh my, the Enderman just what came out with this like ender it's like dick. actually great animation. I know, That's right? Part. <laughs> oh my God, there's a the point POV, of view. There's, there's a POV, a POV of thing. the Enderman. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my, oh, there's a, wait, is that a, is that a gangbang? <laughs> No. Is that anal? Is this anal right now? Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. This this animate why is the animation this good? <laughs> why is it this good? <laughs> that's gr I can't I can't look away, but that's fine. Oh uh, it's like how many views I'm What? No! No! This just got this just went full hentai. Oh it's shit. the fucking oh. stomach bulge and yeah. everything. This went this went like full on like Karina. I think I've seen enough. Oh I'm my satisfied, God. I've seen enough. I'd rather watch orc gangbangs right now. I mean, you basically just did. <laughs> I am just, I, if I walked into my son watching that, I would be disappointed. I'm telling you, I'm saying By the way, we, we just watched one minute 30 out of an eight and a half minute long How video. many views does that have? It's on X videos. 600,000 views. Nice.